<clears throat> Alright, welcome everyone. Uh, this is like roughly the list I'm gonna try tonight. Hey Mike, how's it going? Um, for those who have been following me on Patreon, uh, kind of another mini breakthrough for this deck. I, I know that we've had a few in the last year, I guess. Well, not even a year, half a year. Ever since Artisan uh, was discovered, I guess. Yeah, so Kern here is the, uh, is the person who suggested Buddy Rock. Um, the reason being is because I, I kind of like nicknamed this deck Will Ferrell because there's a running joke. Like, I'm no longer playing Elves, I'm playing Elf because there's only one Elf left. Uh, that initially was a joke, but I think that's kind of where we're headed towards. And the reason being is because Initiative has just kind of like forced us to optimize the deck. And I think what I'm realizing is uh, Allosaurus Shepherd, uh, some of the liabilities of it are more apparent when you have a dominant deck that is not uh, blue base or chalice base, right? Now, I say chalice base with, chalice base with an asterisk because uh, I actually don't think it's very good against us, first of all. And number two, uh, the white initiative decks are boarding it out primarily against us. I know some people keep it in, but uh, amongst the more experienced players, the, the consensus is to board them out, and I think that's correct. Um, where I think I disagree is they don't board it out against the um, combo version. I also think it's correct to board it out there, but that's my personal take. Uh, only because I think it's a bad top deck and it's uh, tempo negative. Uh, I know they have a lot of one drops, but then you're essentially turning on their Alistair Shepherd for free because they're forced to keep that card in regardless. Uh, and I think it's become real apparent to me that Alistair Shepherd uh, actually. Uh, ironically on cue here is Jonathan Jay-Z. Uh, hopefully we can't get punished some of these blue players, but unfortunately blue has been, uh, you know, taking a step down, I guess, to uh, initiative in the legacy metagame. Not that it's not good anymore. Obviously Delver is still, in my opinion, probably the most robust deck because uh, it's a little bit more difficult to hate out, I think, than initiative, which the metagame numbers suggest that it is... Uh, has been a little bit on the decline, as crazy as that sounds. Um, namely, I believe, from what I've seen at least, uh, this is all only from observation, their Delver matchup is a little bit worse now that Delver players have figured out how to play against Initiative. Um, I do have two extra slots here. Uh, I ran Knight of Infamy in the sideboard uh, the other yesterday just to try it. Uh, I lost to Reanimator twice. I went. All my wins that night were 2-0 or 1-2, or right? I lost to Reanimator twice, uh, losing to Show and Tell out of the, their sideboard twice. So I think I'd want cards to address that matchup. I don't know what that should be. I'm open to suggestions. <laughs> um, I'm not sure if Magus actually helps uh, Kern because... Like, they can still cast sh Show and Tell, and then Gristlebrand maybe draws into an answer, right? Maybe they don't have the answer in their cyborg. I don't know what their list looks like at the moment. I'd have to check. But, um, I think the main deck has felt really good, for what it's worth. Uh, this should probably be Atraxa, but Atraxa is like a million tickets right now, and so I sold her. Uh, I know, I, I, I sold out, so to speak, right? It's still 43. Thank Thankfully, I sold at 84. So, like, I got 40 tickets, I guess, as an extra result. Uh, therapy is interesting. I am not the best Cabal Therapist. I am a chicken, so I, I would use duress in the past. Uh, but it's, like, reasonable. The other reason why I think therapy has gone worse is there's two reasons. Uh, besi besides the third, uh, you know, self-pilot issue, which is me just missing all the time therapy. Uh, the, th the two reasons why I think it's worse is because there's more than one thing that actually kills you now, whereas the uh, heuristic of just name what beats you uh, was good before. I, I think there's multiple things that in Legacy that beat you now, so that's one. Uh, two, the deck, the, there's nothing really I want to sacrifice is the other issue, right? Like, we have all good cards now. Uh, so that's the other issue with Cabal Therapy. I played Duress in the past. Uh, it feels bad to be holding the rest or Thoughtseize when your opponent is on the play with Storm and kills you turn one, right? 
Uh, I'm not sure there's any good answer for that. Uh, I'm willing to try things if people want. I am boring, so I was thinking maybe just the third ley line and something else. Uh, third, ley, third ley line doesn't be show and tell, but maybe I just accept that I can lose to it sometimes. They did have the nuts for what's worth. Like they thought sees my thought sees, so I can't uh, essentially thought sees their show and tell, right? So that was one of the games that played out. The other one, I think, I'm trying to think. I think I had a reclaimer they had show and tell, so they just bypassed it completely. Um, part of me wants to play Grief, but the Black Hound is always uh, a little bit of an issue. Uh, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I just stopped for. See, this is what happens, right? You, you give them too much hope, and suddenly they can beat you. Like,. I've, I've tried to prop up reanimator players, and suddenly now we're losing to them. And uh, I guess that's good because it worked, but bad at the same time. Um, there's some interesting tech that, I, like this, for instance, that I think is like, but it's a little too slow, right? It's too mana. So we can play Grief. We can play. Uh, I even thought about playing Chancellor. I feel like that's probably not great. But it's a thing that can come in against initiative, right? Like, just mess up their broken starts. Hey, Yogg, how's it going? Uh, but I think with eight high arcs, it's, we're, like, extremely, extremely resilient through removal now out of initiative. So I think that does help. Not to mention the uh, exalted triggers. Pretty relevant for stealing the initiative. Or otherwise, you have to chump block poorly, right? Like, we have, like, some big reclaimers or big artisans that, uh, that can get through, so to speak. Uh, the, the one thing I've enjoyed also is the layer of the Hydra synergy with the Hierarchs. Uh, it can get really big really quickly. Yeah, yeah. So actually, it's funny that Kern, like Kern and I are kind of like telepathically linked now. Actually, what I wanted was actually exactly what Kern was recommending, which is the third ley line. Just like, you have to beat us with show and tell, essentially, what we're doing. Through, through four thought seasons. And then... The one force of vigor I kind of like because you don't don't want to lose like really random nonsense. Uh, I hate Rex Sage and Mass Vandal is okay. The problem is like the fact that we're not running Waterwood anymore. It just does like I want haymakers in my side, but we're not, we're not trying to play fair. Like I I want I want some of these like it's in my sideboard tens essentially. I don't I don't need like Thoughtseize is nice as an eight already so to speak right. Why did we decide against crop rotation? Um, so crop rotation is something I thought about in the main. The problem is we're already playing four snuff I don't need more uh, kind of like non-creature spells. And the fact that it's situational, I don't love it. Not to mention Plague Engineer is already kind of like... Like I can play crop rotation, move the play, Plague Engineer to Cyborg. But I just love punishing uh, other elf players, right? Like So playing that main and then seeing how that goes. I don't love it, to be honest, but it, it has its uses right now at the moment against the mirror. Uh, the mirror is already, like, close to a buy, but uh, it's good against, what's it called? Eight, um, cephalid Breakfast. It's good against, uh, what else is it good against? I'm, thinking, I'm forgetting right now. Cephalid Breakfast is the big one, I guess. Uh, so, let, let, since current, uh, you know, inventor of the name, you know, Kowato's Strix, just like random things like that. It, it's like randomly relevant. Like I got to like wreck an initiative player the other day, but they have game one Thalia plus uh, Spellbinder, and that was, as you could imagine, devastating. All right, uh, what are we doing here? All right, I'm gonna use some tickets because I've been slacking off too much brewing. Like. See how that goes. It's kind of insane to me uh, that there's people with six trophies already. I think it's been like two weeks. I guess that's like reasonable, right? Like if you have off to a hot uh, hot start. I think in the season that I won the the trophy race. 
Actually, I take that back. In the, when the mysterious elf player, I don't know, I don't won the trophy race. Uh, I, they had like five trophies in the first week, so like I guess it's possible. Uh, you you do have to run hot, and I think at the time uh, they did. We'll never find out the identity of that elf player, unfortunately. Phyrexian Wombat. I think this is a player that we played the other day. I think they are initiative. Sure. No, I can't, can't get mad at 4-1. I, I would take that any day of the week. The problem is when you... Well, it's good and bad, I think. Uh, when you try to innovate, there's going to be growing pains. Like... Ooh, pretty sure Delver. Okay, there's that. Uh, I think we want to turn on our snuff out. Um, so we're just going to do this. Uh, actually, I get punished if they go turn one Archon against me. Maybe I should have, like, led with... Uh, yeah, I think they're initiative. I think I should have led with uh, fetch into Bayou. The problem is if they're on Delver, then they waste you and you just lose, right? Oh my god, don't tell me they named Misty. I think they're on Cloud Post, for what it's worth. It's much easier to find exciting new ways to lose games than to win them. That That is true, Wonder Pro. That is true, Max. So, I think they're just playing different decks, which is pretty cool, to be honest. Um... Good and bad, I guess, in the sense that uh, we took the snuff out to turn on the. Sorry, we took the fetch to turn on the snuff out. I think here, what are we trying to do here? We definitely want to play the artisan. Well, that doesn't change anything. Question is now, do we uh, high arc, probably, or reclaimer? Um, I think we need a reclaimer. Get the cradle online. I think they're on cloud post, so getting a Gris is not that important. Yeah. I think so, Sagra. Yeah, like we are like, Kern and I are like telepathically linked now. It's crazy how much, uh, what's, how far he's come, right? He used to be a, uh, a combo player, and then now he's uh, reclaiming things up uh, on the same wavelength as me. Yeah, so we're, I think here, like, we don't call this Cradle Control for no reason, right? Like, Cradle's the best card in the deck. We're just going to always play it. Um, good heuristic here is just we're going to snuff them out uh, on their turn because, uh, I mean, they, they probably have a sideboard, but just as a reference, uh, Mindbreak Trap is a thing. I think we do that. Mm, I guess this is, like, free. So on average, I would say it, Exalted matters more. And the reason being is because Dino Bash actually doesn't matter until... You, and you, you It's almost like a three-card combo because you need Cradle. And if you have Cradle with enough creatures, why aren't you killing them? All right, um, we're going to... Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's... um. It's kind of nice, for sure. I would say, like, we're kind of hitting a new deck building high in terms of, like, our, or second win, probably is the best way I can think of it. Uh, here, if they don't stop us, they're dead. Uh, could be able to save you. <laughs> uh, if they besage you, I guess it's fine. Let's see what happens here. Oh, okay, that's easy. So we have five here, six, seven, eight, nine. If we did it, we would lose two attackers. If we do it the other way, we lose only one. So five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. We would be attacking with two. Uh, is that gonna be fine? Think about how I want to do that. Uh, yeah, because you never know, I guess. We'll, we'll, we'll make sure it's a, a lethal kill, I guess. Oh, can't cancel. That is a lot of good. 
Hey, Curtis, congratulations on your uh, another stronger weekend here. Might as well tap it all. They probably crawl rotation from Glacial Chasm here, I'd imagine. In which case, we can't really do anything about. At least they lose two, two lands, essentially, right? Yeah, 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 for sure. Uh, which is F6? As I. Uh, Play along here with Curtis, right? All right, how do we lose this game now? Um, I think the first thing we want to do is play that. I think we want to, oops, that was a mistake. Yeah, I, I made a mistake there, um, unfortunately. I'm going to shut off the Collector first. But what I should have done was use the man off the Cradle. Like, this is getting sloppy. I, I sometimes happen that... Uh, in the first match of the night. I should have just used a cradle mana so I can leave the reclaimer up to bog if they need it. Like they're doing some, you know, excavator tra uh, shenanigans. Not to mention the deck thinning uh, implications, right? So they have a lot of cards that don't do anything. Uh. Is there something here? We don't, we have the agent in the sideboard. I'm trying to think if there's anything here that we can do. Uh, I guess we can get the Gris, right? Yeah, deck thinning, here we go. Um, but I, I actually didn't, don't think there's any out in game one. Game two, it would matter. Um, yeah, let's do it this way, I guess. Uh, I'm gonna get the Gorus tick up, hope to dodge um, the ball getting hit, and then what am I getting? I already forgot. I guess I, get, I can get another artisan. Endurance is like relevant, but we'll keep that. That's fine. And then we'll pass. We're not gonna reveal our hand. There's, there's no need. Yeah, like, th things like that, th games like this is where we just kind of need to know, um, like, what, how do we lose the game, right? Like, and I think the only way we lose here is the, to Merit Lage. If Bog is, I'm not sure. I don't think that actually matters. They don't have green mana too, notably. Uh, what do we want here? Do we want the lair? I don't think that matters. Uh, not on this board, say at least. Deck thinning could be bad here, right? Because 
We don't want to actually just like mill it. Okay, there's that, I guess. Um, uh, I think here we just keep our options open. All right, we're gonna get the endurance here. Pitch another artisan. I don't think it actually matters. We're not gonna actually. We're not gonna try to. Um, to do we want to put that back? Probably not. Actually, yeah, just in case. And we're we're not gonna actually tick up the grist because I don't want to mill the bog. Like I'm just thinking of how we lose now, right? I'm gonna pass. They're gonna have to like somehow fight through the like all the, our lock pieces. If this was sideboard, we've already won because of agent. Yeah. Uh, I'm glad I registered agent for this event, right? Like, or this league. It's uh, kind of insane in this matchup. Mm, Snuff out is pretty good. Let me check my map. It's been a while since I played against this. If Curtis is still on the uh, on the Twitch chat, the uh, Curtis has uh, I, I, I promote their um, their podcast right now, AK Nonsense. Now, I guess the the thing I want to ask is, I know you're playing the guy's blessing, and I wonder if any of that was because uh, you saw you know our list playing guy's blessing, or if, I don't know if if that was mentioned in the podcast. More reason for me to listen, right? Half jokingly. Uh, AK, where is the cloud post? Uh, da, da, da. All right, my thing is out of date, so that doesn't even apply. I'm looking at my. Uh, I think the layer is not going to do anything in this matchup. Vendetta, am I boring that in? Yeah, so my I'm boring in agent too. Uh, the Force of Vigor, probably not. Uh, Exalted is... I'm not sure if it's ex worse at ex against exactly Lage. Uh, depends on what you mean by that comment. Um, actually, no engineer. What am I doing? This is bad. I think out of these, the bog is probably more useful. Uh, the Force of Vigor, do I have anything else? Pro the Endurance is kind of whatever. I can see Force coming in instead of that. I don't think late, we're going to lose to Lage, but you never know. But I'm going to play with no... I, I so the... Okay, in Scenary Bridge, it, it randomly beats. I maybe have been lucky. I've never really lost to that card. Like, maybe once. But I, I find that card to be... To only really work against less experienced players. Same thing with Peacekeeper. Like I love it when DNT players try to Peacekeeper me. They like end up losing the game. Sometimes, the, otherwise they will win. Sure. Thank you for the sub, Inquisitor. Kind of glad I boarded the Force Vigor, but might be too late here. So the line here is I can reclaim or do nothing or I can grist tick up. Uh, I probably want to reclaim her now that I think about it. And the logic here is I have like infinite removal in my hand. I think I have, we have to get the cradle online. We're gonna get another cloud pose here. It's gonna be problematic. All 
I'll let them name it. If they name it, we reclaim right away. They probably need the reclaimer. Okay, so they, they fell for the trap. Uh, I think we just pass here. Right, this, this is a mistake by them. Uh oh, it might not matter, that's prime time mana. The problem, the problem is we kept a hand that's like good against Reclaimer and they just did not have it. And our goldfish was slow this game. Yeah, they have infinite mana now. I think the line here is we're gonna Gris tick up for more mana. And then uh We can artisan, I guess. I don't love it though. The problem with that is, did I play a land drop? I think I did not. I gotta be careful of mind break trap here. They could have it. Uh, actually, if they trap here, I want them to hit the snuff out. This is a bait spell. Yeah, that's exactly what I want it to happen. Um, that works out fine. Let's do it again and see they counter it again. Life does not matter. Um, I think we're supposed to artisan here. And like I said, the life doesn't matter. I mean, the Immercool, we're dead anyway, so that's like a moot point. Uh, this is going to cast out harsh, but if you're an elf player and you lose to Mind Trap, probably shouldn't be playing elf. Ugh, so, okay, they have the Emrakul, that's nothing we can do there. We're dead. Let's see. Uh, what are we gonna do here? I think we're gonna keep it the same. I don't think the layer matters that game. Um, and in general, this is like kind of a race. Uh, yeah, for sure. We have a 
Actually, in hindsight, I probably should have bowled that other hand. Like, what am I doing? I have, like, a KO card against him. I'm not playing it. Uh, Reclaimer, yeah. We're going to go ahead and uh, play the Ignoble. Granted, they had the Pitting Needle anyways. Like, I should just find a Greenstone or Peanut Artist in hand, right? And it just, like, agents them out of the game. Like, one, like instead of messing around. It wouldn't have mattered because they have the needle, but the needle on Artisan is pretty good. Oh, that's a strange once upon a time. Man. There's like really no reason to do that, in my opinion. That's annoying. Pine named the artisan. Oh, they have both. Wow, okay. Interesting. This card pretty good against us, I must say. We're gonna hopefully mill a creature and then the artisan can bash for more. Ugh, that's not what I wanted to mill. Wow. Missing land drops. Ooh, okay, we didn't bring something in because of the... It would have been an... Ooh, I'm regretting not having this right now. Actually, it wouldn't matter, right? Because we can't reclaim it for it. Let's do it this way. I want to preemptively fetch so I don't hit that. Do that. And then just bash with all. Wow, okay, that's really bad for our opponent. Uh, Alright, that should be game. We're not going to mess around and, like, mill ourselves here. I'm just going to get the hoof and just, like, not do the mill afterwards. They don't have green, so they're dead. Like, they can crawl, but they're, they're kind of a greedy keep, in my opinion. Um, maybe just whiff. I think they whiffed out the once upon a time. That's more reason to wait, by the way. Uh, I'll bring up my list and I'll use the restroom real quick.
All right, I am back. Thank you for your patience. Um, yeah, pretty. If you've been following, if you follow me on Patreon, I hear my socials again. Uh, this none of this should be surprising. Uh, the last two cards that we added the last minute before the, as the stream started was uh, the third Layla on the Void and the Force of Vigor. Uh, the Engineer May is mostly just to save a cyber slot. Uh, there's like nothing else I really love. I tried playing One Shepherd alongside, uh, you know, the rest of the One Drops there. My thinking is the deck doesn't need to protect its payoffs anymore. You just like jam them and your opponent's just not going to have the answer uh, time after time. The exception to that rule is against combo where like, they can just force your thing and then kill you, but I, I rather prefer the consistency. I think of the the eight hierarchs, which makes us better against initiative as well. Um, the other thing is like when hierarchs are your turn one play, your green sons can be whatever you want in the deck, namely uh, Fiend Artisan or um, or Grist, right? Like the nice thing about Fiend Artisan is like if you don't know what your opponent is on, you just get that and just like figure out the next turn like what's a tutor for, right? You don't have to. You don't have to like worry, well I guess you do because they have removal. Hey Dukes, how's it going? Um, but you don't have to actually figure out turn two, like do I need to get to collect your oof here? You can just wait off on a turn if you don't know for sure, right? Or, or same thing with whatever. There's some merit for like the first visionary in the deck. Like there's certain scenarios where I want it, but I'm not sure it's enough to justify a slot. Also Duke, since I have you here, um, I wanted to tell you that uh, part of the inspiration that I got for eight hierarchs here is um, I saw your list that you played with the Fiendars and you played uh, you know six hierarchs instead of you know four and then two uh, Birds of Paradise and I think you're onto something because I think right now in the initiative meta game uh, every creature has to be able to attack and Birds of Paradise not being able to attack is a big liability. The other thing is like I realized while testing this a little bit. Hierarchs actually solve some of the problems that you would otherwise have. Namely, um, like an opposition agent is like pretty pretty hard to beat. And the fact that you can just like run your three or four power creature into it, uh, it can get hard for them to, 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 they can't take too much of that, if that makes sense. Yeah, exactly. Uh, we got a mold, this is like five lands, do nothing. Uh, here, gotta put the bog, I think, back. Uh, pretty good hand, otherwise, like, in the dark. Our opponent could be on Cephalet Breakfast. Uh, they're 3-0 right now. I don't know what they're on, to be honest. Um, I think regardless, we want to put the bog back, though. And yeah, the, the Exalted triggers, especially eight of them, really adds up. Um, we were discussing before, uh, Dukes and I, and I was telling Dukes that one of the deck building recipes for a Fiend Artisan deck is you have to have a lot of one drops. Uh, I told, at the time I had 13 out of 12, but I told Dukes, like, you need a lot of dorks. And because the dorks just play so well with, uh, Fiend Artisan, in my opinion. Oh, yeah, that's a pretty cool line, dude. I didn't even think about that, but, uh. But yeah, you can just do it immediately and just like, boom, uh, you know, draw three or whatever uh, without having a wait a turn. Whereas maybe they answer uh, you they, if you wait a turn, right? Uh, I think regardless of what they're on, we're priced into fetching Bayou here because of Snuff Out. Uh, not to mention our uh, our Gris here. Obviously, uh, a Birds of Paradise might be a little bit better here in the event that they, you know, waste us or whatever. But, you know, that's, that's legacy, right? You have to... You can't play around everything. Ooh, Tundra. What in the world am I playing against? What deck runs Grindstone and Tundra? Of course, the turn one, uh, yeah, very, very strange for sure. Um, yeah, I don't know. Ooh. 
So the good thing is Hierarchs actually work really well with Gris, but in a lot of fair matchups, your Gris is gonna win anyway. I know, right? Dukes, I su I highly suggest you play three Cradles and three Wasteland, by the way. Just it, just all the power lands. Alright, so they what? The They're a Cephalid Breakfast list with grindstone? What in the world's going on? What in the world is going on here? I don't even think we care about this. I think we just keep ticking up to be honest. Um, alright, let's do it this way. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna plus progenitor. She gets shuffled back. That's the way we drew it up. Why must that be the case? Um, I guess we take the fetch. I feel like the, the, well, five, six, seven, eight, nine, presumably. Sure, why not? Um, I guess I'll just pass. I'm gonna attack for three. Don't think it actually matters. They can play around Blessing by Grindstone and for Oracle. Uh, I didn't think about that. Grindstoning themselves for Oracle. Oh, I see what you're saying, sure. That's actually... Uh, that's kind of funny, I guess. Yeah, that's... Well, yeah, that's kind of funny. Alright, um... I don't want to mill this. We're floating out a little bit. That, I'm one of the issues is be, with eight dorks. Maybe the land count is a, one too high. But I yeah, I rather risk uh, too many lands than too few. Hey Ramon, how's it going? Should go sure. Something tells me I'm gonna be dead. I feel like they probably have a combo with Force Backup. Um, I mean, there's that, yeah. Feels like they have Force Backup, but maybe not. Jeez, I hit two of them. Yep. Yeah, the the grindstone is pretty cool, yeah. They pitch memory journey. Wow, they really like Maybe their last two cards are Therapy and Oracle in hand. But otherwise, we're just dead here. Uh, we did flood out for what it's worth. Uh, not sure what we would play otherwise. Maybe a Visionary, but still. 
kind of awkward. It was really awkward that our Once Upon a Time whip. Oops, I should not have done that. Names and Durn, all right. The dread return. Maybe the dread returns in their hand. I, I though I doubt it. There's the dread return. All right, we're, now we're dead. Opponent is chatting with us. What do we see? I don't even remember what the green was for. Uh, I think we want the force of vigor. The ley line seemed good. Uh, opposition agent is good. So, so it was like almost everything here outside of the endurance. Uh, we can cut one, I think. So actually, in this matchup, I've been trying something different. Um, namely, I don't think. Thank you for the raid, uh, Matt. I actually don't think we need the um, the natural order package. It looks like Trump is the only cash we have. Uh, perhaps, uh, Max. So I actually don't think we need the natural order package when we're just hoping to uh, to ride Reclaimer to the end, right? Like, uh, with that said, the problem is our mapping is a little bit off right now. Like, before I would cut Alistar Shepard in this matchup because, like, the stuff that matters, they can't force anyways. Yeah, uh, I kind of regret I sold mine at 45, so I, I feel kind of dumb, right? But, you know, I did sell my Atraxa high, at least. There's that. But, yeah, I feel kind of dumb for selling my um, my Besages. I think we have too many cards, and we're just going to cut the seizes. There's a chance we cut the high arcs, but I think the consistency is just really good. Uh, let me think about that. So, yeah, I think we just want the speed. That could be wrong, but we'll find out. Sure. Uh, I think given our hand here, I would have otherwise led with Reclaim. The other thing Seize does that I don't like is like, you kind of incentivize to play it over the uh, the Reclaimer, in which you're just set back kind of a lot. Uh, I think here we just like turn one high arc and then like see what they do. If they don't do anything, we just like vomit our hand. Our, rest, our opponent's using the rest turn, okay. Been there, so can't get mad at that. But Seiju sucks. I agree, it does. Uh, Curtis, of course, Curtis is uh, biased, being a depths former depths player. So, so what's the verdict, Curtis? Uh, do I get a shout out in your uh, your podcast uh, for uh, the guys blessing tech? If so, I am, I will definitely uh, check it out. What's the verdict? I know they should be, but they're not. It, they should be playing either Blessing or uh, Emrakul. Right? And the reason to play Emrakul is because you can show it in, right? Uh, blessing overall is better, but for some reason people choose to lose the Painter. 
it, and it's actually arguably the most impactful card because you don't actually have to draw it, so it's actually 80%, nine, effective 90% of the time. And, um, actually, I guess that's the big part. And you just, like, sh you don't lose the combo, right? You can play at your own speed, so to speak. All right, uh, I think we want to do... We don't want to do that. And I think... Let's see what they do. If they force this, then we cast the Color Dude. Otherwise, we cast the Grizz and tick up. They may force this. Nope. The nice thing about High Arcs is like, it works really well with Grizz because uh, your tokens just attack while you leave all your mana up, right? Oh, that's fair enough. So, I indirectly, I guess. It was probably somebody who got it from me because, uh... Yeah, I I've actually cast it against Painter as well. Red Painter, specifically. I haven't run into your deck too much. Uh, definitely more so after you won the challenge. Um, what was I gonna say? Yeah, the elf player you played against probably just got it from me, to be honest. Because, uh... The, the, the Painter matchup was like 30-70. I've also cast against Reanimator. It's pretty sweet tech. Uh, it was like 37 and, and I feel like it's like 80 20 the other way now I, just because of one card which is crazy to think about Just because of one card uh, I think here we just leave like all the mana up right What's the current deck list? Stream Decker isn't showing hierarchs. Oh, uh, my apologies. I hadn't updated it, Giant Helm. That's true. That's true. Okay, for those who don't know, Curtis, uh, aka DNS Solver here, uh, has won four challenges as of late. I think two with, uh, what's it called? Green White Depths, and they won another two with uh, the Blue Painter uh, list, with an eight cast shell, obviously. Um, whether he wants that to be called Painter, Blue Painter or eight cast, that's up to him. Uh, being the, uh, you know, one of the pilots of that deck, but, uh, and just with a near miss yesterday, too. So, uh, big, big shout out and props to here, uh, Curtis. Ah, okay, that's, okay, so... I think I know the joke. Um, I think I've seen people call it depthless depths, but I, I I could be wrong. All right, what are we doing here? I think I'm gonna get a layer and just try to hit for a million right here. Yeah. Okay, depthless depth is different. So I I guess I don't know the joke. Uh, we're gonna bash for a zillion right now. This is why I don't think natural order is needed, right? You just hold this up the rest of the game. Um, we could attack, okay. Let's see. This is three, four. Actually, we're not attacking with Reclaimer. What am I doing? A lot of damage. Let's see if they block. I guess they do block. Okay. We have like two layers of protection here. 
So I feel okay about that. I mean, maybe they needle us here. I don't know. Uh, all right, the, very nice sequencing here. They're gonna get the shovel effect from the brainstorm. I think they were contemplating whether to do it or not. All right, they float the mana. That's fine. They have a Shuko. Okay. That tells me that they probably have a count. Uh, the the illusionist in hand and looking for opportunities. Uh. I guess. Why would they expose that? Is my question. <sighs> I think we just deck spin, right? I want to keep that up. Uh, here, I think we get the extra mana and then we tick down. We save our removal. kind of annoying. I think I want to accelerate the clock. So I'm just going to do that. Let's see what they do. Uh, this accelerates it by a lot, actually. Game three it is. So yeah, I think in these graveyard based matchups, like you probably don't even need natural order anymore. Like you just hold reclaimer up the rest of the game. It's like real problematic for them. Uh, we didn't even need seize there, which tells me maybe my mapping needs to be re-assessed, uh, right? Like if I'm not bringing in Thoughtseize here, maybe I need just harder hate for some of the other matchups. The one nice thing about Gris is, um, Sometimes they have the all removal hand that they keep, and then uh, Gris can, you know, represent card advantage. Like there, we just leave uh, Reclaimer up the rest of the game, and then the layer of the Hydra is just like going the distance, so to speak. Granted, I have the three color combination because I had the Gris Pound and the Cradle too, but a lot of times your Reclaimer and just like casting your one drop will do the same thing. Not to mention, uh, layer plus high arc is quite the combination. And yeah, sometimes um, I tend to be over conservative. I think there it was correct to just use the vendetta and um, you know take that uh, put them on a one turn clock, so to speak. 
It was just like too much damage to give up. Yeah, I cut Basaju because I think having um, Hey Levi, um, I think the re the logic is uh, it's just too hard. Uh, sorry, not, it's just too important to have turn one snuff out online, especially since we're main decking all four copies now. Uh, I pretty much want it to be a sure thing that snuff out is online. That's the main reason. There's an argument to be made. We should have had the better mana base before, but. Uh, Baseju, the other thing is Baseju has aged a little bit worse because spending two mana to kill a thing just like spends, it feels like a million now. The good thing about High Arc Tribal is not even that weak to uh, Plague Engineer, right? Actually, I, yeah, that's fine. Two mana destroy chalice dies to trap. Uh, yeah. Feels a little bit awkward here. Um. Ooh, that's actually a good draw. I could play this through days now. We'll see if that beats the Swords of Plowshares here. It's not. I guess they're gonna tutor the Shuko, right? It, it kind of feels like our opponent has the, the combo hand. Or the fast combo hand. Vile, okay, that's kind of annoying. Uh, Vile's actually quite good in this matchup because um, it can f screw up the timing of things. Not, not so much the ramp, but yeah. Like sometimes if they have a um, no mods on core already out, we kind of have to just uh, kill in response. Th Thanks, dude. Appreciate it. All right. Um, they haven't used any removal spells, which is a little bit scary. We have a. Two layers of protection here. Um, I, I'm like debating whether I should be. Um, I'm debating whether I should get the opposition agent on an empty board here or lock out their aether vial. It feels like I should do that first. And then we'll lock out their aether vial. There's a couple of lines here, actually. This is a pretty big decision point. I can get Gris. I kind of feel like I want the Reclaimer online to unlock my mana. Um, like, I think that's a... I'm trying to think what a win looks like from here. I think we need to get our mana going. Uh, we could get... We could get... Um, what is it called? We could get the uh, opposition... Not uh, Plague Engineer on Wizard. The problem with that here is... Like, it, it would have gotten no value, right?
All right, this is pretty nice now because, like I said, we can turn on our uh, our deck, our mana. Um, I think the line here is just ramp. Actually, I do not want to do that. Um, maybe this. We boarded out the hook, which could be relevant. I mean, they supreme, they got us, right? Like, I, it's hard for me to play around, like, everything. They did supreme ver ver verdict, man. Champ? Uh, okay. It almost feels like they have uh, Oracle in hand. In which case, we get punished for boarding out the hook. Maybe that's reason to keep the hook in, but... Um, it's kind of brutal. Uh, I think I'm going to go for the fake out here. I'm going to put it at 5. Our opponent is trying to think what is five mana. It's I'm almost certain they have Oracle in hand. So we're gonna it really depends how much they want to mill themselves here. That's the part of the beauty of the PNR is in here too, right? We have a snuff out they don't know about that we can just mill their deck, right? And they're going to lose to uh, no cards left in the library. Ooh, kind of a heads up play. Seven cards left in the library. All right, so they don't die to that. We can, I think in, in this case, we just agent them, right? Because there's nothing left. Sorry, not we engineer them. 
Thank you for the uh, sub, D set. Yeah, we engineered there for sure, John Helm, because they had seven. We had the snuff out backup too, but um, yeah, the exalted triggers are pretty nasty. How many force of wheels do they have left? Like, they need removal or multiple cantrips in a row, right? Interesting card there. Um, I wonder what their line is. How many oracles do they have? There's already one that's exiled. How do we... Two at most, so maybe they have a Teferi left that they can put back? They have three last game? Okay, possible, yeah. <sighs> Alright, um, how do we do this here? Trying to think. Actually, let's do it this way. I feel like we snuff out now. Like, like, because I don't think there's anything we care about. Thanks. Uh, Miss Oops Trigger. They said they have a nine game winning streak and I'm stopping their back to back 5 0 here. Um. So there would be five, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, we're still short. Let me think. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, that's short. I think we can get the layer. This is how much mana? 11? I think we have lethal. So, because it's 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, I gotta be careful. Um, yeah, I think it, it's always lethal. Math is for, uh, block, block, math is for blockers. Yeah, we, 
we got it. I'm just being. Oh, I don't like to throw away one game, so. Yeah, except they can't block here, right? <laughs> well, I just like hard mode. Uh, oops, missed trigger. My opponent said that they should have went one more. I told them I had a snuff out. If they went one more, I would have milled them out. Cool deck, though. All right, that was uh, long. We're, we're gonna use a quick restroom break again. Hey, Singer MO. Yeah, that was a, a pretty nuts match. So, like like I said, I had the snuff out in hand. If you kept going, I would have just milled you out instead. I would have got Gris and milled you out. Um, what is it called? So, I think I had you covered regardless. But, yeah, pr pretty cool deck, to be honest. Um, sorry I had to ruin your 5-0 or back-to-back 5-0. -back I can see decent now on Thursday showing to the pit. Is it Ignobles? <laughs> Yeah, that was a heads up stop by Seth. I even mentioned it on my stream. I was like, oh, that's a heads up play. I think they, they know the jig uh, uh, of what line I have. Because I definitely was. Like, I, it definitely felt like I had snuff out in hand. So that's. And I would imagine that's why you stopped the seven. So you didn't lose to that. But then it's hard to, because you. Because if you don't want to lose to that, then you lose the engineer, right? Like. And then obviously. I boarded out the hoof. So it's a little bit dangerous because I didn't have trample damage, right? But. I figured I was probably safe, but yeah, that was kind of a nuts game, like some heads up play on both sides, I think. 
definitely one of the better played games I've had in a while on stream. Yeah, I figured as much, which is why I went for the Lair of the Hydra line, right? Like, I was doing the math in my line, in my head. Nick88. I think that's actually what makes uh, this deck hard to play to, because it's really a control deck. I, I think... People think I'm joking when I say it's cradle control, but like, you really need to have format, for, format knowledge to play this deck, in my opinion, because it's very much a reactive deck. Well, reactive is probably not the right word. It's more of a read and react is probably the, the best I can uh, explain. And you, you just have all the tools because it's a a Tudor dot deck, right? Like, Cage and, uh, and Agent are probably two of the stronger cards against us. Ignoble and... Yeah. I, I hate to use the word reactive because you really want to tap out. So, like, it's a little bit paradoxical, so I, I don't really like using that word, but maybe that's the best explanation. Kind of feels like... <sighs> yeah, it's, it's like a tap out control deck, really. Uh, I don't love this here. They have a Saga and... <sighs> I feel like we're supposed to collect the Ukdom here. Yeah, it is tapped out control. Although with creatures, right? Instead of uh, instead of discard, right? Typically, when you think of tap out control, you think of something like Grixis. Uh, I don't know if this is the correct play or not. It feels like it probably is. It, it's not really a mid range deck, though. Like. Maybe it is. I don't know. I, I, I don't really... I, I hesitate to call it mid-range, too, because, like, mid-range implies, like, Nine of Reliquary. I think it's, like, very much different than that. Needle. Maybe they needle the other layer. It's kind of funny. <coughs> it, I don't think it's a mid-range deck, personally. Because, like, mid-range includes two, box, two boxes... I kind of use the tutors as just like extra copies of your best cards. Yeah, Reclaimer is fire, Knight of the Aquarius, that's for sure. All right, they're gonna attack for a bunch here. Um, what am I supposed to do here? Am I supposed to just kill this thing? And just like stop damage? Yeah, I think so, probably. Let's see what they do. Oh my god, really? Uh, okay. I didn't think I didn't see that coming, but all right. That was definitely a surprise that I did not expect. Three. So this will be three mana. I can trade with one of these three threes. I don't know if that's the best line. They can attack me for a bunch the next turn. Kind of feels like I have, well, they probably have an artifact and then they grow to a 4-4, four, four, then it feels kind of bad. They're gonna 
let's do it this way. I don't have a 3-4 just yet, but later on. Don't have a 3-4 just yet, but later on. Mm, we can actually take it, to be honest. I am a little bit scared of Ballista, but YOLO. Oh, that's true. Okay, I'm spacing out here. That, that's entirely true. All right, this oof is gonna have to go the distance. Uh, Exalted uh, coming in handy again. Uh oh, that's a problem though. I didn't foresee that. That is quite annoying. I should have probably foreshadowed that, but I didn't. Uh, let's see. If I pump here, it's a 5-5. Five five. That's not big enough. I can be a... We're gonna have to block regardless, but it's gonna be problematic, I think. So if I grow this, it's gonna be a seven, six six. That's not big enough, unfortunately. Um, okay, I have to grow block with two things here. So five, six, seven, that's seven mana, but so it's gonna be a six, six. All right. Let's go to blocks, I guess. I think we're gonna lose this game. That's kind of embarrassing. And all because, well, this thing is pretty huge in our defense. Ugh. The good thing is we can take the monitor off the board, I think. Yeah, I mean, we just drew like, I, I also like, I don't know if I'm supposed to play around this card or not, but that like cost us the game in my opinion. Like, this is, I didn't, think about it at the time, but I think that might have just cost us the game. Like, maybe I'm supposed to snuff out in with a thing on the stack, but, like, I screwed that up. Let me see. We cast the snuff out. They already played the island. Let me think. Uh, this is 8, 9, 10, 11. It's not enough. I guess we can try. Yeah, that's fair.
All right, we are down a game. We're trying not to lose this 5-0 here. Only have one blocker. I mean, we're dead to the thing regardless, right? We, we needed them to just miss it. We, To be honest, the correct play from me would have been just to concede, like, if I'm being honest. All right, we're, we're bringing the force of bigger. I think we're bringing the agent. Um, I, I don't like the vendetta. They tend to, like, sometimes have chalice. I, I don't know their exact list. Um... This might even be that other list. I think it's the uh, the Curtis list. Uh, if it is the Curtis list, I don't love Plague Engineer either. Uh, Gris is not particularly great in my opinion. Uh, I don't think we want Leyline. The Guy's Blessing is in. Uh, I'm trying to think here. They have Painter, so I don't love Vendetta. I think maybe like something like that is okay. Like, we're trying to win fair here, I think. I don't, I don't really love Gris in this kind of matchup. I think we'll put the land back. Done. Hope you're doing well, uh, Hannah. Hope you are doing well. Here are my socials again for those who are curious. Um, my, for, if you're on the fence for what it's worth, there is supposed to be an update tomorrow uh, with my cyborg map. Sure. I'm very glad I have a grind, the, the guy's blessing, right? We don't just like worry about dying to their combo. Uh, here, we're gonna, oops, that is a mistake. We're gonna go ahead and um, green sun for a two. They will probably force if they have it. Probably. I don't know. Maybe to get us with the one mana remove uh, thing. Ugh. Feels like they have a dismember in hand. Um, I mean, if they have a dismember in hand, then they have a dismember in hand. Like... It's that or get a fiend artisan, it, but it just feels so bad, right? Like, right? No, I, I agree. Like, if you don't get it, you probably die, right? Like, so you probably should just get it and hope they don't, they're just bluffing. Sure. We have the progenitus, which is nice. Oh, why? Why, why? Always. Always. Why, why, why? Oh my god. Uh, oh, there is a thing. I guess we snuff out the Emery and see what they do first. Um, so if I Gris and Tick up, like, I don't think that actually does anything. Like, unfortunately, we only have one Oof, too. Like, both tutor targets we drew. And unfortunately, now we are in trouble. And we actually boarded out the Gris, too. It is an all-around disaster. Yeah, we did. Uh, I just checked right now. 
we fiend artisan here. Um, what does that even get us, right? Like nothing, I think. <laughs> uh, I think we just pass, to be honest. This is a disaster. I think we just go for a lethal now. L literally, the turn we're gonna cast. It's like every time, man. Oof, yeah, oh my god. What a disaster. I even boarded in the progenitus because I thought this would be how the game played out. And then I, I drew it. What is this? Oh, it's the, 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 the three mana factor fiction. We're probably dead. We, we really needed to cast the natural order last turn. Uh, we had a setup and everything, but... This card, always. Sure, lead the stampede is probably better. I, I keep thinking fact or fiction for some reason. Maybe that's another card. SGL and, uh, do they not have mana? What is going on here? I think they're, they have permission up. Like, that doesn't make any sense what they're doing otherwise. We just have to not play anything for six and then go clean up, huh? <laughs> I mean, we'll be dead by then, but sure. This is what I mean. Exalted is on average better than the the Shepherd Punch, uh, Shepherd Bash, in my opinion, right? Because you don't need Cradle, right? It's it's always good. The funny thing is, we may be able to outrace, but unlikely, I think. I think, I'm pretty sure we've lost, but it's not non-zero, so that might just be the, the nail in the coffin. Like, they're almost assuredly holding permission in their hand at this point, like based on the way they're playing. But, cannot dwell on the pass. They're going to bash us for four here. We're going to go to eight. Uh, we're going to maybe draw a land, I don't know. Ooh, that is a problem. I think that's game. Ah, shoot, 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 shoot. Yeah, I think that locks it up too. That's, I don't think this is the Curtis deck. This is some other deck that we lost to. Card is a very powerful card. Um, it's arguably even the strongest Planeswalker in Legacy. Uh, the, the, the problem with Karn is um, there isn't a great shell, I think, for it. Uh, or let me rephrase that. There's no great shell that needs it, so to speak. What I mean by that is there are decks that can play it, but they choose not to because it makes the Delver Magic worse. Um, and there's, there's some other decks out there that could play it, I guess, in theory, but it'd be a little slower. Like, a good example is Painter, that can play Karn, but the Karn versions tend to be a little bit worse against Delvers, so they don't play it. Because you don't want to make yourself weak to uh, Delvers' soft permission. Um, it does. I think it, the, how many it eats is up to you, right? Like, I, I feel like people go overboard with these sideboard slots uh, for Karn. They could have gone Lannis. I don't know why they didn't. Maybe they wanted, I don't know. Maybe they wanted a force in their hand. Like it, it, it almost feels like the last two cards in their hand are um, force plus pitch, right? Like we can bash for three here. 
Um, I think they have to. Uh, well, if you go too light on contract, it can be bad as well. Uh, yeah, I feel like you only need like three to be honest, but that's me. Um, we don't have, well, let me think. We hoof right now, that's six plus six, that's 12, and then they have enough. I feel like we just play the artist and, and pass, and see, see what they do. Actually, I'm gonna tap differently. Uh, it, it's gotta be forced, right, like they, that they have? I have to pretend like I have the whatever answer they're thinking of. The problem is like like I said, it's order is not even lethal there. Do you get hook and try to kill him after they block everything? I don't think so. Yeah, if we hooked there, it would have been um, 6 plus 6, 12 damage. And they were at, I think, 6, so they could have just blocked with two dot monitors and then we're dead anyways. <laughs> Actually, what am I doing? That is a bad mistake. I like thinking about their life total here. When the Karn is at three. So they would lose everything, right? We have to kill the Karn. The problem is then we're going to lose the race with the Shadow Sphere. Yeah, yeah, no, you're, I, I see what you're saying, uh, Hannah. You are absolutely right. I think I screwed that up. All right, I'll just concede. Uh, okay, I see what you're saying now. Like, we could have had 12 damage on board. And then, like, kill the Karn, and then kill again later. I'm not sure that wins, to be honest, because the problem is the Emery, right? Like, and I'm pretty sure they have Force plus Pitch in hand, for what it's worth. But I, I do agree um, your play was right. I, I don't know why I was fixated in the life, but I can attack Karn, but you're right. That was a, but I'm pretty sure they had force plus pitch in hand too, for what it's worth. Uh, I had to check. I think game one they had, they showed it. Let's see. Oh, they had something in hand. I, I'm pretty sure. Like we saw the metallic rebuke, and they kept two hand cards in hand. Hey, uh, David, how's it going? Yeah, I don't know why I like tunnel vision right there into their um Yeah yeah I'm I'm almost certain they have a force plus pitch there. I, I don't know why I tunnel vision into a life total when I should have thought about the Karn tree. Uh kinda of disappointing to lose an artifact deck because I think our deck is one of the one of the strong matchups I think for us is the artifact deck. Although I think without Shepard it's probably a little bit weaker because of the chalices and they probably keep in forces. Uh, it's even then. Let's see. After, it's kind of disappointing to lose that match too after the great round two that we had. Uh, we, we, we like messed up another person's 5-0. Or actually they're 10 right? Um, it's like 
reasonable. Put the second burst back. I love the Scooby Doo uh, reference there, Hannah. Lands? I thought those. I thought Lands players were extinguished. Only the most diehard players would play Lands right now, in my opinion. Uh, you can never beat Initiative, in my opinion, if you're playing Lands. But, you know, it's not gonna stop people. Tim uh, Schultz showed uh, tweeted out something a couple weeks ago. Uh, for those who don't know Tim, um, there's Schultz Cube on MTGO, one one of the best lands players in the world, in my opinion. And I'll put it this way. Uh oh, don't age at me, please. <laughs> so what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, Tim Schultz sh posted on Twitter his like record, and he went like 0 16 against Initiative, and he's arguably the best pl lands player in the world. Um, I think uh, so. He qualified for the showcase, uh, the most recent, not the most recent, but the last showcase qualifier of the uh, 2022 calendar year. I'm gonna play this here before they like agent me, I guess. Let's see if agent happens. They wouldn't need Dark Root Soul. Could have it. They did not. They don't. I think here I'm just gonna like play everything out. If we get swept here, we get swept. It is what it is. I, I don't want to lose to discard. Legacy is a format you can perform with a non-mail list. Currently at least. Um, I think that is partially true. I think Legacy is more punishing towards Brews than it has probably ever been. Uh, because I think the top decks are just, like, insanely efficient. So, like, there's just, in my opinion at least, uh, there is a wide gap between the top, like, I don't know, seven decks or so versus the rest of Legacy. All right, uh, we are going to see what is in the, st our st the stores for us. Reclaimer is pretty good. All right, uh, we're going to do that. Plus again. Uh, what do we want here? I feel like another dork. All right, they conceded. Um, possible we're supposed to get a reclaimer there and just like bash for lethal next turn. Uh, I feel like they're probably on that like mono black, not like eight hate bears against us, like four engineers for uh, opposition agent. Uh, the problem, I think, in this that kind of matchup, I think they're like the helm deck. 
Uh, we haven't really seen much, to be honest. What was spoiled by only playing Cradle? Yeah. To be fair, I think uh, this card is probably the most powerful card in Legacy. Like, and it's become more more apparent to me that that's the case. Is it the best card in Legacy? Maybe not. But in terms of like raw power level, I think it is. Uh, and the reason why it's not the best card is it can only go in essentially a creature-based deck with a lot of one-drops. I think that is probably a must for Cradle decks. Uh, all right, what do we want here? I think we probably want the Seizes. And no Bog. Uh, Engineer doesn't seem great. I don't think Opposition Agent is great either. Probably something along these lines. Yeesh. I mean, we have a Gris, but the rest of it is kind of bad. And we can't even cast the Gris right now. Like, this kind of feels like potentially a trap hand. Uh, and it, it, I mean, it can be really good. I think I'm gonna keep. It's like very speculative, but it can be really good. I'm like, I'm gonna, I'm pretty sure they're gonna like, try to like, uh oh. I think they're on a reanimator. What in the world? How how is that even even the case? That they had no play for us game term, game one. It'd be funny if we drew. Uh, I think we have to play this here. Shields are down. Like they probably have entomb and step, and then kill. Like I that was not even on my radar because I didn't think it was possible for a reanimator game to play out that way. Yeah. Ooh, okay. That we got a restart board. All right, uh, take care, Hannah. Thank you for uh, dropping by. Always a pleasure. And uh, also, shout out to the uh, the modern community. I know they've been working hard on the Devoted Druid deck with uh, Tivar and Artisan. That's, like, pretty sweet. So we completely misjudged our opponent's deck, right? Like, I didn't think it was possible that... It, like, Reanimator was not on my radar based on the way Game 1 turned out. Uh, I thought they were just mana screwed and, like, I don't know. Exactly, like, did they keep seven? Like, what is going on? No, they kept five, but like, still. Like, they seized us on one, and then just, like, did nothing the rest of the game. That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, it was not on my radar. I didn't feel like we should win game one against Reanimator based on the hand that we had, right? Uh, they're going to Crystal Brand here, presumably. Uh, we put in the Hierarch back, which is fine. Like, we're more than dead, though, like, unfortunately. They probably take... Oh, they take that? Interesting. Interesting. I don't know if that is correct. All right, um, well... This adds to the, the Cradle mana. The problem is you can't really... Um, 
They have to block now. That's kind of crazy. Right, this is going to be a 12 here, and they have to block. Uh, we could. I feel like getting the hook there is better, right? Unless I'm mistaken. I mean, maybe I'm wrong, but I feel like uh yeah, it would we actually, Mike, you are right. We would have got one extra damage in. You you are right. Probably name who it is. Okay, they named that. Interesting. This is actually really funny. The, the awkward part is, I think... <sighs> if we kill the Sarah Emissary, emissary here, um, we force the block with the Gristlebrand. The problem is we kill the Gristlebrand, and then the emissary, emissary attacks us. Then we have to draw... Uh, oh my god, this is like... I uh, take care, decent. Um, what are we doing here? We can kill the gristle brand. Oh, actually, if we kill the emissary here. This is a s six, seven, eight, which is a seven plus three. That's a ten. Like, are we supposed to kill the gristle brand here? Is what I'm asking, I guess. All right, we let's do this. We we're gonna have to activate regardless, so let's get that out of the way. They can block draw a million. You can yeah for sure. Yeah, I think I'm doing the math wrong here. The six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, I think we have to kill the gristle brand again. What? Why can't I target the Gristle Brand? It shouldn't. I've killed Emissary with Gris before. That, that's not the correct interaction. What the hell is going on? Oh, I see. Okay, that's awkward. That is super awkward. All right, uh, I did. That is a new interaction that I was not aware of. Jesus. Okay. Like, I definitely have killed a Sever Embassy before, and I was not aware that's how that worked. Yikes. All right. Uh, now, learn something new every day. Yeah, 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 for sure. Like, I d did not know that interaction. Somehow, it has never... I guess it's never come up because I would kill the Emissary and either win or lose, right? Like, in most cases, I guess that's why it's never come up because usually it's that three going to one. It's wild to me that that's never come up. I, I play against Reanimator like pretty often too, because Reanimator is like pretty rampant in leagues. 
But yeah, that is pretty crazy. Uh, that that has never come up before. But learn something new, right? That's pretty cool. Now I know. Because yeah, like I said, I have killed many Sarah and emissary before with Gris, and that was the first time it was at two loyalty. So that must be why, right? Like, I can't explain it otherwise. I'm, I lost two creatures, but I don't think it would have mattered. I mean, it could matter, I guess. Like, I would have ticked up instead. One of the creatures kills the um, the Gris. I have, like, maybe another turn or something. And more mana. Interesting. Why didn't they do that earlier? Uh, I'm not, yeah, I, I don't know if we're winning, to be honest. Like, I guess we technically have outs, like, but they would have been able to draw a whole bunch because the Gristle Brand attacks, right? I'm, I think we're dead regardless if they played optimally, but I'm not sure they would have played optimally because, um, based on how game one went, right? And, uh... Again, they could have killed us here, the animate dead, but that's just, a, you know, a whole different, that doesn't, well, okay, they did that right. I've had people try to animate dead my Gris, it doesn't work, for those who are curious. I think we're dead. Uh... Uh, I guess we can figure, see what's in the last card in their hand. Get that information right. Prismatic ending. Okay, that could be relevant. All right, we're gonna completely change our sideboard. We like. Also, I don't believe like something that's important is to keep in mind the um, the mana base here. I don't believe in our show and tell, which is good for us. Uh. We'll, uh, all of this just comes out. We like completely misboarded. Uh, none of that. That could be relevant. Uh, I think this is pretty optimal. Like all the removals out, the natural order package. I I used to keep it in, but I just don't think we need it anymore, right? Like I think reclaimer is just a win condition. Like you just layer them at the end if need be, and just like hold it up the rest of the game. Um, they have Prismatic Ending, which does change some of the calculus, but I think we're still like pretty good shape here. And here we go, the the guy's blessing. Right? Maybe we'll be relevant for the hard, ca hard cast. Uh, I don't think I love this. Like, we're going, well, we go turn one season to turn one reclaimer. That's pretty good, I guess. Although maybe we're supposed to mulligan and, uh, you know, dig for the ley line. I try to keep most hands because otherwise it makes you kind of predictable. Uh, your opponent knows how you play. If you keep every hand, it's a little bit harder to play against. And I value not being able to uh, get cheesed by my opponent, so to speak. Um, I think here, yeah, I'm going to go... Turn one sees turn two um, reclaimer off the green sun, and then lo hopefully lock up the game. Uh, they have seize and unmask. I guess I'll just take the seize, right? Like there's no reason. They they lose a card if they have to unmask, and then if they pitch the exhume, then we have a uh, uh, what's it call it. All right, they, they chose not to do that. Maybe this goes the distance for sure. 
I saw someone in MTG Rules subreddit um, ask about that Grish interaction. People said it was a bug. I'm going to ask some judges about it and see if I get an answer next stream. Oh, that'd be awesome, uh, Kodo Elbow. Like, I was not aware that's how that worked, but... I mean, maybe it is. I don't know. That that It feels like that was a bug, but I could be wrong. You got to be kidding me. Really? Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh my God. Uh, I think it has to be. My goodness. That is pretty brutal. Uh, I think I want to play the cradle here and do that. Okay. If I play the artisan here, that's two, three, four. Am I playing towards a green sun out or I'm playing towards a, a fetch land out is pretty good. Fetch land or Gris here works. It's funny, if this is an educational uh, uh, stream for everyone, right? Like, I, I actually don't know the answer to this. I, I can believe it that that's how it's worded. Uh, that, how, that's, uh, that I didn't get, uh, I guess, screwed as a result. I can believe that's the correct ruling. Uh, this is tough to... Ugh, it's kind of, kind of unreal. Like, our opponent kept a really shaky um, hand game one, and then we, like, won off of it. I guess we should be grateful, but... Did they win this game three that is uh, like literally running perfects on us two, two turns in a row? Kind of uh, a buzzkill, but you know, I guess that's, it is what it is, right? Like I was okay with that keep, right? Like you have turn one, Discard into turn two um, Reclaimer. It's like as good as Anything outside of maybe Leyline, right? Like that's the only thing that maybe it's better than not as good as Like I think I have to keep that under most circumstances because that's two pieces of interaction and on the play, we have a lot of two pieces of interaction, but... I think we have to mold this. Our point is 0-2, for whatever that's worth. Hmm... I think we take the artisan here. Yeah. 
they kill the artist, I mean the higher art, then uh, we'll probably slam artisan anyways, but it gets a lot worse. Ooh, Arawara, interesting. Oh my god, what are we playing against? I already want to concede, because we're playing against a non-meta deck. Maybe some land standstill build. These are the type of decks that I that we're in danger of losing to the O2 bracket, right? Yep. Oh my god. That is a unfortunate. Um. Hey Joff. Uh, I was. I don't know about right now. Um. Like, we're going to lose to that thing, so I think we just have to hope they don't have it. Uh, it's less good now, uh, Joff, in a way. And the reasoning is because if this survives, we're probably in good shape. Nice. Uh... Monk is not very good, in my opinion, against initiative. Uh, I haven't tested it, but it's just based on theory crafting. I don't think it probably lines up well against the uh, initiative. And somebody I trust who's played the deck kind of confirmed that. If an activated or creates a delayed trigger, the source of that delayed trigger ability is the same as the source of that other ability. So, Venox Storm, are you saying that it is correct, right? I'm, I'm assuming it's correct. Um... Oh, uh, no, I think it's both, right? Like, it's a creature, from what I understand, it's both a creature and a planeswalker, but I don't know. That's just kind of a weird thing. Judge. Sure. I'm pretty sure we're losing this match. Like, this is exactly the type of deck I'm afraid of. The... My deck is not built to beat it. <sighs> Any more thought on 22 lands? Uh, great question. I think that might be correct. I just played 23 because... That's, oh my god. Okay. I just played 23 because that was um, what we were playing for a while, but granted that has way more, way less ramp. So I can definitely, uh, definitely see uh, cutting a land for, I don't know what, maybe like a, a visionary or something. Pretty sure we're losing this match. The the O2 bracket is where I do not want to be in the league.
extra. Like very highly debating conceding this matchup already. Feels like we're gonna get blown out. I better not. Okay, thanks for the clarification, Van Exton. Alright, uh, that's another bug if anybody can submit it. It's surprisingly never come up before until now. Pretty sure I'm losing this game. Maybe they force that right now. Okay, they do that. Uh, I'm not gonna block, there's no use. I'm gonna get a third creature out with uh, Grist and hopefully Seems like a uh, Kodo elbow. That's unfortunate. Uh, maybe it wouldn't matter. Maybe it wouldn't. I don't know. Seven seven is pretty neat. The other thing, going back to game three of the reanimator matchup, I think given on the, we're on the play, I think C's is probably okay. They literally hit runner runner, which is kind of crazy, but you know, it is what it is. I think I'm gonna follow Slayer uh, Drow. Oh, here are my socials again. They have removal, they're gonna use it on the artisan, yeah. Uh, in this case, they kill the Gris and then attack with a bunch. Uh, fetch land here is pretty good, like, I think a lot of things are decently good here. Uh, they use one force already. Uh-oh. So they can draw into with the converter. Like, uh, this is what I mean, right? Like, these are the type of decks that we lose to because uh, our deck is not prepared for it. Three, four, five. Yeah, we're probably dead. Thanks, Harry. Yeah, I think everybody's coming to the same conclusion here. Uh, we could file, I guess, for reimbursement. I'll do that on my own time instead of, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll probably do that on my own time instead of taking other, the, the stream's time. It, to me, it's just wild that that's never come up before. And I feel like it actually has, and maybe the new patch like screwed it up. Like, I don't remember encountering that bug before. And I played a lot of matches against Reanimator just by sheer volume of leagues. Like, Reanimator is a pretty popular league archetype because of um, quick games. It's a fairly straightforward, like, uh, play style. 
So it may be the new patch that's caused it because I swear I've minus before and it's never had that issue. I don't think that would have mattered, to, like uh, to be frank, but it it definitely cut us off some outs. And the game may have played up a little bit different. We're definitely behind though, for what it's worth. Um, is this game one still? Yeah, I mean, I, I s feel like with all those matches, it would have come out at least one time, but usually Gris is on three in this that matchup specifically, and then you take up once, and usually when you take up, uh, you like win on the spot. Oh, sorry, you probably win on the spot when you minus. No idea. I haven't played Waterwitz in quite some time. Probably dead. Um, let's see. Four mana. We can cast Hoof finally next turn, but uh, they probably have some kind of interaction. I would imagine. Uh, are they one short? I think they are. Let's see. 11. Yeah. Specifically called out. We're not fixing way too much work. <laughs> this is the last uh, Hail Mary that we have, right? Like, probably not, but you never know. It's probably getting f stopped somehow. Yeah, alright. Oh, uh, now we're dead. What was a promising run has now, uh, we lost an artifact deck, which is not good for us. And then we lost to reanimator, uh, game two, cause we didn't know what they were on. And then game three, uh, they drew run a runner, which is kind of crazy, but I mean, we've been, we've been the beneficiary of it before to be, uh, to be earnest. Uh, da, da, da. I think. Do I want this? Probably, yeah. I think. Do we want C's against a standstill deck? It's definitely not that. I feel like the answer is yes. Because of Supreme Verdict that we saw. Actually, Agent is probably good too because of. Uh, Saga. I don't think we want the force, but the it being a creature is pretty good. Let me put probably put that back. But the upside is so high though, compared to an endurance, it's probably worth it. Sure. One bad card and pretty good otherwise. I think last game we were on the draw too, so that hurt. Um, actually, let's go with this. Actually, I should have went with Noble. That's a bad. I had Bayou. What am I doing? Because if they kill our dork, I'd rather they kill a Noble than anything else. No, we're on the draw, interesting. This is a must force. Otherwise, they just lose. Yeah. 
that, that is a must force. Oops, I almost screwed that up. I think, did they just like kill our turn one play? Is that what happened? Like, why weren't we able to beat the standstill? Maybe we just F6 here as we look. Oh, they forced our thing and into standstill. All right, that's what it was. Actually, kind of funny. Um, do we we want into? Yeah, let's do that. Did we play a land yet? We did not. I think we want the la the lair. Might be a brainstorm here, yeah. Is there a three mana sweeper? Uh, all right, they can't beat that. I guess that answers my question. Mm, just barely. I see four payoff, uh, three payoffs and four lands. It's, we're f flooding a little bit uh, with this list because of all the dorks, but maybe we need to look. I didn't think much of it, but maybe we need to cut a land. I, I actually don't love that answer, by the way. I rarely am of the proponent you're supposed to cut lands. Uh, I think we're supposed to take the Gris. It's kind of insane. I think turn two, we're gonna go high arc into reclaimer, and then um, settle for the turn three glimpse. I mean, not glimpse. <sighs> that card. Um. Sometimes I feel like our opponent, like not not our opponent per se, but opponents in general, just slam that out, and they don't even have the the thing. But. In the event that they do, we probably lose, but I don't I don't know if we can just like wait. Yeah, I think we're just supposed to just do it now. Feels bad. No, I don't think so. Uh, uh, High Arc has been insane. Also, hot Bop not being able to attack is a huge downside against uh what is it called? Initiative. Like, you can really feel the impact of Exalted once you have eight of them. Uh-oh, don't tell me they have another removal. They have three removal stones? I guess they, they drew into it with the stance. So it's like super annoying. Like, that's like one of my least favorite cards playing against. I'm 
I supposed to play? Yeah, I think this is probably correct. Feel bad though. Let's save the green sun for, in case they sweep. Right, because if they do, if we do it the other way, and they sweep, like then we have a dead Gris in a hand, right? I think this is probably better. Uh, we they've drawn. They have two ancestral recalls already. I think we're probably dead. This that's too much, right? <laughs> yeah, one of those days. Yeah, at least we didn't draw it. Uh, there is that, I guess. All right, uh, I think the line here is to Green Sun again. They probably have force. I think we're going to be in trouble regardless. Ooh, that is actually an insane draw. Replenish? Uh, Alright, um, we take the... We have to take the force of negation here, which is fine. And then... Uh, ooh, this is actually kind of nice. Wait, why are we dead? I don't understand. Like, we have a Gris coming down. I'm confused now. Alright, I think we're supposed to do that. In case they, like, try to sanctuary us or something. The good thing is their standstill is bad now, and their swords are bad. Like, the, their hand is, like, kind of bad against this hand. I know, they can replenish the standstills, which is kind of funny. The crazy thing is they just drew... Their hand, like, lines up really, really poorly against us. They're going to Teferi, like, desperation, bounce our thing... Yeah, we are in big game right now because we ate two prismatic endings. Sure. They have two swords, that's kind of annoying. It doesn't matter, but sure. That's actually a misplay, I think. Because now we can safely take out the Teferi. I believe that is a misplay. Right? Because otherwise we attack. Maybe they're scared of like progenitors or something. I don't know. I mean, speak of the devil. In case they drew uh, Spell Pierce or something. Or Philosopher Storm. I, I am harvesting blue. Perfect for uh, Jay-Z here. As we, uh, you know, decisively, uh, you know, rip apart this blue player's hand. You should have, it was great, right? The age old uh, discard versus permission. The, you disarm them as you natural order. All right, the desperation currency converter. Here.
It is basically it. Yes. If you can even call, this is not elves anymore, right? Just elf, one the the best elf. Yeah, you guys surgically rip apart their hand, right? As they you like navigate through their uh, their their fortress, so to speak. Discard. Right, they probably bounce another token. I'd imagine. I'm sure, that works. Uh, I don't think there's any reason here to uh, bounce because they have to sweep regardless. So I think I'm just going to pass and not do anything with that Misty. Interesting. So it's Supreme Verdict or Bust. There's no reason to really play these, to be honest. Uh, they did. They got us with Verdict game one. So they're digging for it hard. Um, we're going to like, have, we have like flash creatures too, in case they try to do something crazy. Looks like the Supreme is coming maybe. Oh, that doesn't do anything. All right, they're on their last out now, right? Like, <laughs> they're on three only. With Urza Saga's package. So I guess that is the full greed, right? That, that's almost like a four color. Sure, I don't think we care. All right, do you have the Supreme? It's, it's, this is literally the last draw, I think. Maybe they have one more land, I don't know. Shuffle. All right, now they're dead. All right, uh, two zero into two two into three two. Uh, to be honest, felt like we deserve better than that, but you don't really deserve anything, to be honest. Um, or we don't deserve anything. So, we guess, I, I honestly, the second match was probably the best match. Of, like, I think that was the highest level match of the the five rounds, uh, on both sides. Uh, our opponent here was playing for the 10-0 and like their second 5-0 in a row and we like spoiled that. Um, I forgot what we beat round one. Yeah, I don't remember. Uh, we got top deck like two times in a row here against the reanimator player. Um, I mean their deck does do that for what it's worth. Uh, I think the list felt good. I think the only one where we kind of fell out of it was the uh, like the 8-cast-ish deck and I think <laughs> they were on a money pile, that's correct. So, I think this one, like, it feels bad. Maybe the Alistair Shepherd, like, cutting that hurts this matchup too much. I think that the deck felt pretty good other otherwise, right? Like, our deck is not really geared to beat this kind of deck, but we, we you know, won post board. Um, I'll bring up the list again. Anybody have any recommendations on how to build a deck? I think the main deck is, like, Probably close. Like, at most, I can see changing three cards at most. I think this should probably be Atraxa, because, but I just, like, you know, waiting for that card to come down. I sold my copy at 84. Uh, so I'm happy with that, you know, uh, MTG stonks, so to speak, right? Um... I think the other thing that can change is maybe we can go down and land. Uh, we did feel like we were a little bit flooded in some of these games, but for what it's worth, our deck does make use of mana very well. Like, we have eight sinks, so to speak. Well, nine if you count Hoof, but really eight. Uh, the four Artisan, the four Green Sun, right? Like, and the, I guess you can even count Lair. So I'm not, like, too concerned, so to speak, is probably the right word. Uh, like, maybe we can go to land with that. It's a fetch with the third body. It's a different story. Uh, I feel like third bio is pretty nice. We can have a think. Like, over the course of a long tournament, uh, there is mental fatigue. So, not having to worry about, like, oh, do I have a fifth force is, is like, a thing. Um, I pl So, the original version of this list I played the other day. Uh, the other day being yesterday. With one shepherd. 
uh, maybe it was Saturday. I don't remember. It was either yesterday or, the, or two days ago. But I played one Shepherd, and it felt by far the worst card in the deck. So whether that's worth it, the two to four, I don't know. I, I feel like the answer is probably not. Only because I think the last time we played Shepherd, um, the last time before we had Shepherd, like there was glimpse of nature, right? And I think Fiend Artisan, the fact that they have to remove remove it, means that that's already kind of like Alistair Shepherd, right? Like, if that makes sense, like if they have removal, they they have to use it on Artisan or force it because we could just get whatever we want, right? Like permission shut off, more or less. It's not even the the five L's. I, I think that part is like under uh, overrated, maybe. I find it hard to believe one to two is not worth to push through natural order. That that would be the reason, right? You can artisan to force through natural order. Maybe that over a land. Like I can see that it throws off our mapping a little bit. Um, it's not the end of the world, obviously. Like we could try it. I guess let's go to the drawing board. I, Actually, there for those who know me, uh, I love deck building probably more than playing. I guess once upon a time, four over a land is sort of anti flood since it can be your land anyway. Also, um, I have tried on many occasions, uh, Max, to play the four of once upon a time. It's good until you draw multiples, right? And then it's like you the the hand becomes non functional. Play Marin. That is a card I actually thought about for what it's worth more Mario. Um, I'm not sure Marin is needed, but that card does things that is uh, very nitpick. And there's a running joke that there's a non zero percent chance now that the optimal list of ours eventually gravitates towards nitpick. Uh, there's like a non zero chance that's accurate. Uh, but I, the four high arcs, I mean, sorry, not four, eight high arcs have been pretty good. Uh, so maybe not, um, you know, four. It does play well. Okay, so I don't usually. Um, I try not to play things that are good with artisan because if you untap with artisan, very rarely do you lose. Like, have I lost with artisan? I have, but like, it's very hard. I'll put it that way. Like, if you untap with artisan, the likelihood of you winning or we winning, it's got to be at least like eighty to ninety percent. Like, I, I can't imagine it's lower than that. And, like, against certain decks, they just auto-lose. So, for instance, against the Mirror, right? You get a Plague Engineer, the game's over. Or, against a true Mirror, right? Let's just say you're playing against a Cell. You get um, Opposition Agent, the game's probably just over. Um, against, like, Cloud Post, you get Opposition Agent, the game is literally over. Um, Storm has some outs. Uh, Gris is almost unbeatable for a lot of these control decks. Like, they have outs, but it's not easy. Like, I'll put it that way. I think my win rate with an untapped artisan has got to be at least like 80 to 90 percent. If at least. Um, and because, like, like I said, sometimes uh, you need three mana for opposition agent against like the Doomsday player or whatever, and you only really have two. Like let, things like that against combo comes up. So I wouldn't say it's a hundred, but obviously I think it's like 80 plus. If you untap with artisan. <laughs> uh, yeah, that is the dream, right? Like that's why I say there's a non-zero chance that uh, Nitfit is like the final form of this deck. All right, we'll bring up the. Uh, oops, let me close this. Well, I'll bring up the list. Um, so let's just say we play one shepherd. Everybody wants to play a shepherd, so sure, why not? Uh, maybe we cut a Bayou. Like, see how that feels. Uh. That does mess up our mapping because I actually don't like Shepard against um, Initiative. Uh, I don't love Magus because it's really only good against one deck, right? Like lands. Uh, well, it, it like shuts off our Cradle. The Mints and Boo, I feel like we could just do that stuff in green, to be honest. Like, you can play a Merit of like Tolnaf or whatever it's called. I don't even have that here. I think I moved it. Uh, you can play like Garruk and like things like that. Garruk Relentless. Um, right, what do we want to do here? I think we may need another card if we play Shepard. <laughs> Why? True. Why play one mana murder Murtide? Let's see now. Uh, 
What do we want to do? A any recommendations? Uh, I'll leave the chat going here. I'm going to use the restroom again. Uh, I think we can just cut this. This isn't going to do anything. Uh, the third ley line kind of feels like we need it against Reanimator. Uh, but we have one uh, potentially extra slot. We'll see how this Shepard goes. <laughs> so for those of you who don't know, that's the new 18.6 that's coming out. I like the old Gitrog for what it's worth. I don't think that's better than the new Gitrog and Thalia. Or Thalia and Gitrog. Haw of the Gemstone in the sideboard. Uh, I don't think we need help against Control. But also very narrow card, Lamar. I'll be right back. I'll check out the suggestion. Uh, since you can tutor for a red source, can we be mince gamers? Um, I don't think fair decks is uh, the issue for us. Correct. We have zero mana murk murder murktide. That's true. Tibor is the other card I kind of wanted to play. Um, whether it's worth it or not is a different story. Wonder what to do. I could play a trap. Uh, I love to torture some of these storm players. Although they torture me most of the time, to be fair. Uh, da -da -da. Tivar, like we tried it in the previous stream. I don't know if it's worth it. It's like probably not great, to be honest. We could play this one first night. Uh, like decent against control, I guess. But I don't know if we need help there. Maybe a chalice. Just, uh, just cause, right? Well, the f like I, we lost to Reanimator now three times in a row. Like once today and twice yesterday. I do not want to lose Reanimator. Like maybe that is the way. Actually, no. I take that back. I think we may want the first grief. Just to like split it. What do you think? Chat. First grief or fourth ley line? I do not want to lose the reanimator. We're just gonna play enough hate until they can't uh, fight through it. Uh, actually, I kind of like crop too. Is crop here? It's like a reasonable card. Yes, it is. So maybe like this. Uh, Scooze is not remotely playable in my mind in Legacy anymore. Uh, y like, the problem with Scooze is it does not line up with Murktide. I, I don't think Scooze is a real Legacy card anymore. Uh, and that actually pains me to say. Just play Leyland's main. That will lock it up. Sure. Thank you uh, for the follow. Lucky Dice Diana. We could play this, but two mana just feels like a million, right? Like, it's a card I really want to play, but I can't. 
Uh, I think the crop is probably fine. All right, whatever. Let's try it. I don't want to lose three enemies. One of these days, I'm just going to play four ley lines, four endurances. Just like, I do not want to lose to that matchup. The matchup got worse when they started playing show and tell again. Uh, anybody who plays reanimate or initiative here, how is the show and tell versus initiative? Ooh, I'm pairing against Harry. Uh-oh. So Harry here is uh, a good friend of the stream. We're going to have to mull. the ones back. Okay. Uh, all right. Let me see what Mike said. I think it depends what the hate they are on. If Macab, I don't think you need it. Sure. Makes sense. All right, uh, what do we have here? Uh, I think we just take the Artisan. I feel like the best card here. Uh, the crop rotation otherwise would have been Plague Engineer, so I'm kind of glad we cut it. Maybe it's another land. That would have been better. Like, Shepard cut a land, though. So at least that's one thing that's good, right? The crop would have been an Engineer. I don't think we want Engineer in this matchup. I mean, maybe we do. Oof. We're gonna get punished, I I feel. I feel we are gonna get punished uh for being short on lands, right? I don't know. I I was not particularly impressed with Shepard, uh just the force natural order through. Maybe it's fine because it's another one drop. Uh did not feel like it was very good. The problem with I, with Shepard, in my opinion, it, it is bad against initiative. Like, really bad. It's like borderline laughable. Ooh, okay. Um... I think we play both. <coughs> so the thing is like, we played up both Artisan because we're playing around removal. I know Harry plays uh, some number of snuff out and then like probably the full set of uh, STP. I don't know how many um, prismatic endings, but if I were to guess at least seven main deck removal, if not more. I would guess three snuff out, maybe like four swords. And there's a good chance Harry has a second uh, Fiend Artisan. I'm uh, sorry, a, a second answer for the Fiend Artisan. So in case that does happen, I want to untap with the other one and take up with Gris, and then we get our, um, our engine going. That's the line. Obviously, things change uh, if they have two or something like that, right? So, two mana, maybe it's for three. Uh, that's gotta be night, I think. I'm trying to think what else it could be. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Well, don't even need to do it, I guess. Uh, I'm sold on the uh, crop rotation. I take back everything I ever said about you.
We had the lethal anyways, but I guess that just made it easier, right? More attackers. Um, all right, I think we can cut that. Let's cut the bog. Uh, more removal, I think. Agent's like really good in this matchup. Uh, Engineer's probably really good too. Uh, Shepherd is trash. Uh, I don't remember if they're on Stoneforge Mystic. I don't feel like they are. So I'll probably board out a uh, collective. I don't, I don't think they're on Mystic, but I could be wrong. Um, the rest of the stuff is like whatever. The the thing about this deck that I think people get confused about is, uh, and and what's it called? It Max Gilmer put it best. Oh, they were last time. Okay, so I, I'm wrong then. Um, actually, I th yeah. Okay, unfortunate. Uh, I think you have some more of this kind of hand. Right, like, this natural order feels a lot worse when, uh, yeah, I'm gonna mold this hand. What was I gonna say? Oh, Max Gilmer put it best. Uh, he said this version of the deck is slower to actually put your opponent to zero but in terms of pressuring is actually significantly faster than uh than the netto version uh variant Ugh, why 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 would you do this to me I literally put it back because, ugh, well, we gotta do it the hard way, I guess. Probably snuff out's coming. Ooh, C's. I did not expect C's, but they probably take the natural order. There's a chance to take the the green sun, but maybe not. I don't know. Uh, I think we just like reclaimer into ramp. Ooh. Ask them to take Pedro. <laughs> Once Harry comes back, I'll uh, I'll mention it. I think we turn on our snuff out just in case. I don't think it matters. They have a mom. They want to waste us, that's fine, because the Reclaimer is just going to get Cradle eventually. I forget what our opening hand was. Um, I feel like... I definitely remember An Arbor was part of it, and we didn't... We, I think that might have been even our second land drop. So not great. One drop here? That's not the worst. What do we... Uh, that's not the worst. So they know, I think they know about, actually no, they don't know about this natural order. They took the other one. We have lethal, but there is a decent chance they have removal. Um, it's always dangerous. Like I wish the progenus wasn't in our hand. It's always dangerous to try to hook and then it's not lethal. And then the game gets really awkward for us against a Stoneforge Mystic deck after that. The wasteland here is kind of clutch. Uh, I think we just force it out, right? Like we have to do it eventually. So we're gonna allow them to wasteland us here, and then um, we're gonna we're gonna do it again the next turn. That's the line, right? Like otherwise, it's gonna hand uh, hang. Hurt the way. Actually, let's see. I think we get a land here. That's pretty good, actually.
Maybe they have Cage. I don't. Actually, they probably do. I should have Nash ordered, I think, for Gris. But I, I don't know if we win against these constructs otherwise. It's hard to say. I guess we'll find out right now if Harry has Cage or not. It's definitely awkward that the prog is in our hand, as it always is. No target? That can't be right. Oh, I think Harry's just using Saga as just a construct maker. Interesting. Sure. No Galactique, I assume, because Green Sun for three. I'm gonna the lair here. Um, it could matter the extra body. That's actually a really good draw. I think that's lethal, but if they have snuff out, they actually if they have snuff, they would have played it already with the trigger on the stack. Uh, Harry knows like about that. Uh, I guess next match. What did we board out the, um, I guess we collectively boarded out. I don't know what, what it took in taking the um, Shepherd spot. I'm, like scared of cutting lands, but maybe 22 is fine. Because we're on eight dorks, right? Is it like the, the deck has become very linear. Or like linear in a good way, I guess. All the one drops all do the same thing now, right? They all make ma mana. The exception is the, um, the Shepherd, but it's kind of bad, right? Like, I, I don't really think that card's good. But it does force the natural order through, so there's that. And especially with dorks, like, being your turn one play, the chances of having a green sun for one uh, on the same turn with six mana as natural order is higher now. So that that is one thing to keep in mind. So maybe it's worth it. Especially with eight tutors, right? realized I missed uh, I should have answered my buddy uh, uh, Levi's question Uh, anybody have any questions so far? 
What did we end up playing here? Oh, we played the crowd rotation. That was actually kind of nuts. Uh, like, given that we have so many payoffs, to, like, a fifth cradle is probably pretty good. I was like a little a little hesitant to play it because of the the higher uh, non creature count again. Um, granted, these are normally glimpse anyways, right? But um, it's probably worth it. I think it's also a pseudo hate card, like to punish the the reanimator players. Um, we saw that it was very good that game one there. And then in the sideboard, we're playing now the. Oppos Sorry, the Plague Engineer is now in the sideboard. Wait, is that correct? Oh, we cut the uh, the Force of Vigor, that's what it was. I have some concerns about the control matchup because of how many dead cards we have game one. Uh, the, fo the four removal spells plus the Collector Oof. Um... The seizes come in, and then I guess uh, maybe in another endurance. Uh, depending on how the mapping goes, I can see like two endurances coming in. Cut the crop rotation, right? Yeah, I think eight high arcs plus a crop, maybe we can cut one land. That's probably fine. We do have some flood issues for what it's worth. Like ever since I tried this version. Lara has actually impressed me as a mana sink. Our, let's see, how reliable is Snuff Out? We have, I think, 10 fetches uh and two by so one less 12 it's like reasonable i think still i like i cannot stress how important it is to have this on turn one against initiative i think initiative is our hardest matchup uh out of the uh the very popular decks uh reanimator used to be in the very good column or the good column and now i think it's like kind of sketch too based on my experiences against it lately The best matchup, I think, is the pseudo mirror, the, uh, the the combo elves deck. I think is like probably the best matchup right now. I think the the other matchup that I think is like very good is the painter matchup because of uh, Guy's blessing. Um, eight cast used to be good. I am not so sure about it now. It's probably less good. Uh, Delver is probably. Uh, pretty favorable initiative I would say it's probably slightly unfavorable um, I think those are like the big cephalid breakfast I think is like probably fine uh, yeah really the only bad one I think of the popular ones is mm, it's probably initiative is probably the, the hardest matchup I think the second hardest matchup maybe is reanimator based on recent experience Reanimator in theory should be fine. The problem is they always happen to have the show and tell against me now. Seven minute queue time is kind of unusual. Not usually you see this for like vintage, but not like legacy. I forgot how powerful guy, uh, not guy's cradle, crop rotation is just as a fifth cradle. Like that, that was pretty nuts. What happened in game one there? All right, well, we just queue. Let me get more water.
Let's look at the bug at the moment that I'm not aware of. It's an eight minute queue time, it's kind of crazy. Sligo Yanks. Um, sure, I guess. Not great, but I think I have to keep. Oh, it looks like we're playing against Delver. Uh, not where I want to be with his hand. And also got significantly worse by drawing that second uh, natural order. I think we are priced into fetching the value here. I thought that could happen, but I feel like with the grace, we're kind of priced into it. Feels like they're on the Murktide hand. Like, oh my god, come on. Oh my god. I think it's we're gonna get days a, a second one, sure. It could just be punishment, right? Like, I should not maybe kept that hand. But it just, we just drew all three natural orders. I think we're gonna lose this game. I actually don't think that card is good against us, but we also drew the wrong part of our deck. Which is the fear against Delver, to be honest. Did we mulligan? I don't think we did. Um, I think we might have considered it. We are in some serious trouble. The other problem is we didn't draw um, additional lands be be besides the one that we already had. I think this might be more reason to run uh, the 23rd land. I don't want to accidentally lose to Delver. It's interesting that they would do that. I think I would have personally hit the cradle, but... Probably dead. The EI is usually not very good against us. The problem is EI is good if they're ahead and we are pretty behind. Uh, on the mostly even fight, EI is kind of actually a liability against our deck. Um, the reason being is because you can't really afford to tap out against us the way you can against some other decks. We're gonna be hit with, uh, I think that's an 8-8, eight, eight, but I, I can count. 7-7, seven, seven, all right. Actually, we're dead anyways. Um, I should not have just given the information of, of noble, uh, ignoble hierarch, but maybe that gives away too much. All right. 
We were trying to win two in post board games. Uh, Vendetta's good. I think I want the Endurances. The Guy's Blessing is good too in this matchup. Uh, so it's Crop Rotation or Engineer. Uh, I think the Crop is better. The Engineer is like Feast or Famine in this kind of matchup. It's like super sketch. I could get like really punished. What? I think I, I was scared I was gonna misclick there. Don't tell me they're gonna force into your waist. I guess that's what they're gonna do. Uh, yeah, I don't love this hand for what it's worth. We may lose now. I, I think, uh, actually, that's not bad. Um, mm -hmm. We can artisan here. It kind of feels like they have days. I think we were, we'd rather artisan here than, than not. The, the reason why it, is it contributes to mana. This doesn't affect the board, right? Like, they want to bolt it. I'd rather they bolt the Artisan than bolt the, the Arbor. I think we're going to get Murktide here. That would be the reason to play the Guy's Blessing. Jesus. Maybe we're supposed to play Guy's Blessing to... Sure. I don't think that's actually good against us, but that's neither here nor there. Actually, do we care? This card has been kind of whatever, to, get, to be honest, against me. Oh, they might try to daze, and if they do, actually, it's probably that stupid thing, um, the counter spell. Sure. I can't believe we're getting got by this card. I wish they would have dazed earlier, but they didn't.
I get the feeling a Merc Tide could be coming down right now. Yeah. It's kind of greedy, to be honest, of them to not uh, do a main phase. Like, I could have just Merc Tide in response. How many removal spells have they used? We can just like get days here like big time if we do. We go to one. We like I'm trying to think whether I care about playing around bolt or not here. Um I, I'm trying to think how, what a path to victory looks like here. I think the path to victory is going to one. Mm. That's, yeah, it's not going to matter. We're going to block the DRC. Uh, we're we're going to lose the end of festivities and bolt, but that's fine. We're playing a well, we were playing a really high land count. Now, now not so much. Okay, we drew that um Okay, um, I think we tap that sacrifice. Did we play a land just? We did not. Uh, I think we just put all that away. Actually, that was a mistake. What am I doing? They could have Brazen Borrow. That's bad. That, that was a mistake. If they had bar, they would have played it. Um, I don't think we are allowed to do that. Wow, okay, good thing we didn't attack. I think they might have screwed up the previous turn. They, I think they might have already had it, just not like click through. Oh, no, we're just dead, it doesn't matter. Um, yeah, games like this, feels like we need another land, right? I don't think forcing through a natural order is that big, not that important, because I think we will beat those control decks regardless. 
Um, so I think I changed my mind. And I think having the extra maybe land, right, instead of the shepherd is probably worth more. Like based on how that, like we, we want to keep most hands against Delver. And I, I just don't think it's that important to force. Like, I think we will beat the control decks. Like, I, I say that a lot. And sometimes I'll lose to it in the league. But when it's mattered, I, I've typically been pretty good against these control decks. And I think we are more likely to lose a game we're not supposed to against Delver. Just because we missed land drops, like we did. Uh, we did, Granted, we didn't draw the Shepherd, but I think based on the way this played out, I, I'd rather just have the 23rd land. Especially since the crop rotation means um, we can just change one of those lands for a layer of the Hydra, right? At instant speed, which is kind of nuts. Uh, I think we keep... Good, good uh, data, I guess, right? Uh, I think we just go turn one high arc. So I think if I were to build this list again, it's probably minus one, uh, Shepard plus one, whatever. I, I don't think permission is what we're excuse me, scared of. And we would never leave a Shepard over Dork anyways. So if they want to misstep our thing, that's fine. Uh, new follower, thank you, um, Mary. I didn't see the full uh, name. I think the line here is probably like turn two endurance. Um, if they're on, like I don't love this hand, but depending on what they're on, it could be very, very good. Uh, if they're on Delver, for instance, uh, I love it less, a lot less now. That's the problem with Snuff Out, right? Like our control matchups are significantly worse. They're on the eight plowed uh, strategy. Sure. Ugh, we drew the wrong half our deck. That's part of the problem with playing main decks not out. Sometimes you don't pair into the uh, the two most popular decks. It's good against every top tier deck outside of I would say. Um, 4C control. Uh, I hope they don't have Terminus. Um, let's pass. I don't want to risk it. Uh, I'm going to pass again. I have end step. I have end step endurance, so that that's why I didn't do anything there. This is like no rush. Oh, it could be a snuff. Uh, Snapcaster bluff here, or uh, it's gonna feel real bad. They have Snapcaster. Actually, hold on. We'll just see if they have it. Feel like they probably do. The thing is, I want next turn to be lethal. That's why I'm kind of priced into playing the Endurance. Do they have it? Yes, they do. We 
We just have two blanks, unfortunately, against this deck. Uh, can't happen. That's the price we pay, like I said, of playing main deck snuff out. I, if they have Terminus, we'll probably just lose on the spot, to be honest, uh, with the two snuff outs in our hand. It's not like the uh, the um, old days of yore where we have Visionary to get back into it. Um, on the last chance qualifier that eventually cured me for the, uh, the Magic Online Championship, one of my wins in round two actually was a comeback game one against, because uh, I didn't know what they were on, uh, and especially at the time, Terminus was pretty bad. I got 5 for 1 Terminus on turn 2 and somehow won that game. Because they end step Brainstorm into Terminus on, on my turn 2 their tur and what would be their turn 2. And to this day, I, I still think about that from time to time. Like I should have probably lost that game. Feels like we're going to de be dead here. Maybe it's a Supreme. That's kind of weird. What is going on? Sure. I wonder why they didn't fetch. That's very sh odd. Unless they screw up the order. That's the only thing. The sequencing here is a little bit odd. Uh, they sequence the Sanctuary after the... Okay, maybe it's a Minson Blue that they have. Even still. Like, that's the only explanation, right? Like, I don't understand the sequencing otherwise. It doesn't seem correct to me to play the Minson... Uh, the, the Sanctuary there... Um, it's gotta be mints, right? Yeah, that, okay, now it makes a lot more sense. The f funny thing is the snuff out has random value now. the thing we were ahead anyways but that was the, the nail in the coffin I guess they don't have trop in their list maybe like it, it this doesn't make any sense to me the the tiger they fetched it off a tarn too so it's not like yeah, it's kind of strange. All right. Uh, n n regardless, uh, we'll take these pretty awful snuff outs out. Their only use game one is to kill Mint and Blue, which is like kind of funny. Uh, I think here we bring in the Caesars. I think the only way we lose is to Mint and Blue, honestly. Um, I think we want probably that. Probably can take out that. Uh, maybe we take out a dork too. I don't love it to be honest. Uh, da -da -da -da. I think this is fine. I don't think we need like four endurances. This is awful. Two uncastable spells. Uh, in the deck, and if we don't draw a land, it's a lot worse. Mulligan. Two. 
Hopefully we can 4-1 tonight. Uh, we 3-2 the first league, so that's like not bad. Yeah, this is kind of okay, I guess, that we, you know, only kept in three endurances, because I thought this could be an issue. I don't like engineer or agent against it. I like, I, I'll keep an agent if I have nothing else. But that's probably about it. Like sometimes you get them, they concede on the spot, but like other, if you don't do that, then it doesn't do anything. Uh, actually, let's do it this way. If they do not answer the hierarchy here, we are slamming. Like, no questions. There is a... Actually, I used to board out one cradle in some of these control matchups. Uh, and I thought to myself, why am I boarding out the best card in the deck? Like, it used to be a thing. And then, I was like, I think I'll just live with drawing two, right? Like, against these control decks, they, a lot of times they even have Wasteland now. They probably have another Dork. Uh, Alright, let me see. They EI... Played a Tarn Go. Interesting logic. Uh, I was going to slam the thing, but maybe not anymore. I'm going to do this and see what they do. They could have a lot of things, which is why I'm not just going to slam natural order for... Uh, I mean, for, for, for progenitor. Right, especially if they Supreme here. I don't know if they have Supreme Verdict on their deck or not, but then it's like real bad, right? They could Sanctuary here. And if they do, I think I'm going to Endurance. I don't think I want them to have the Plow. Chase? Is it Yase? No, it's Mint and Boo. Sure. So interesting. Uh, we definitely kill the um, mint and boo here. Six cards in hand. What are the odds? The problem is we... I think we just go for the kill. At this point. 
instead of progenitus. Make them sweep. Five? What is five? Maybe they tap wrong. Oh my god. What the heck? Jesus Christ. I did not think they were going to play that. Holy shit. That's actually quite scary. <sighs> shoot, shoot, shoot. Uh, da -da -da. Uh, we take the Gris and then we do this and see what they do. That's a must force. I tap wrong. I should not have done that. In case they have Snapcast, I'm not gonna. Um, I actually I should. That was a bad play. I should have pitched the ignoble and keep two defenses up. They're gonna play a Snapcast. Oh wait, that's fine. Don't tell me they have another main symbol. It's like it's good. It's becoming haymaker magic here, right? might lose this game. It's played out definitely different than I thought it would. That might that has to be a force, right? Uh, that's fine, I guess. They probably have the um, the sword, but what can you do? Unless they don't? Wow. Okay. Just now is actually very good against us. Uh, out of combo decks, it feels unbeatable. Atraxa is not in the um, the list is because I sold it because it's high on MTGO um, engine machine. Oh, okay, sure. We're probably dead now. Like that's a lot. I kind of wish actually that it was Atraxa. I think it would have been better there, but you know that's a different story. How 
good terminus have we like had to fight through earlier. I don't actually love endurance. Like if they don't have the whatever if they don't have the Uro, it doesn't actually do anything. It just says like a flash three creature. Oh, I got six. Might have been we played too scared to. Um, hard to say. This matchup is definitely worse than it was before, given that um, it's hard to win game one now. If we draw the wrong part of our deck, I mean, I think we did draw the right part of our deck, but even then, like we don't. Like, Endurance can be good against them, but it is, like, more variance. Whereas Visionary was typically always good before. Uh, ooh. I think they're gonna escape Earl again. Actually, they can't. <laughs> That's kind of funny. And then we can bog them, right? If they don't have removal. Feels like we're pretty in trouble, though. is four minutes behind on time. Uh, debatable whether the information of giving them of them know our hand is worth it. The fetching, I would say probably not. We're gonna do it on their draw step. Sure. We haven't cast it yet. The reason why this is a harder matchup now is we don't actually have true card advantage anymore the way we used to. Like before, you like they we just, we could just bleed them with uh, Waterwood and and Visionary. The, with without that, this matchup is harder now. There's no raw cards that we can just have. We could play a few glimpses. Uh, I'm not convinced glimpses is the, the answer though. It's like, oh my god, all right. Seeing five drops of fairy is kind of wild though. So that's one thing, right? Because we don't have the Atraxa in our list, we can't just proactively just natural or on four like we would want. So that is one big downside of not having the Atraxa tonight. Interesting. They could have endurance. I don't know if they do or not. Um, dress down, maybe right now. It's like the third one. Jesus. All right. Uh, I don't think the one damage is worth. 
if they they if they have even anything, we're just I have no chance. I wish a tr uh, fiend artisan's uh, uh, ability was so instant speed. That'd be pretty cool. Oh my god. Two Sanctuary. It's quite the control deck. Uh, it could be, yeah, it could be, uh, Max. I don't love to try to play for clock, especially in league settings. It, it depends. If my opponent is really slow, then I, I hate to reward that, but uh, outside of that, maybe. I... The worst feeling is, like, pairing into somebody and they're, like, 10 minutes behind on clock and then you lose to them and they have, like, 30 seconds left. That's probably the worst. The one thing about playing to clock, I will say, is the pressure that they start to feel is very real. It's kind of insane to me. They're playing to the five drops of fairy. But I guess that's where we are. That just does not seem like it's a legacy playable card, but we're getting our butts kicked by right now. Yeah, this card is, is so bad, right? It doesn't do anything. Granted, to be fair, it would have been a land otherwise. I guess it ate a removal spell, but it's kind of bad. We're starting to drown. To the the fairy there. That's another danger, right? Suddenly, we don't have the many fetchables. Sure. How much time do we win? Actually, we won the first game pretty quickly. This is turn 15 already. So I think they're gonna have a hard time beating us game three. But I could be wrong. What's the verdict from people on minor misstep? The card feels kind of whatever's. I mean, people are playing it. I don't know how good it actually is. Uh, but granted, it's not the best against a deck like mine. Especially if you're playing Shepherds, but which is kind of funny, right? As we cut them, uh, the card is seeing some play. That makes sense, Ramona. Because it can remove the threats too, and the cantrips. Mm. 
I probably should have played Valera, to be honest. But I guess it doesn't matter. Yeah, that, that's fair with Mario. What's going on here? They're, I have to kill us pretty soon. They're like behind on clock. There's their clock. Um, so play that and pass. We can actually lethal it next turn, potentially. With 12 minutes to go on the clock, it's going to be close for them, I think. Oh, I should have actually fetched in response, but that was a mistake. Actually, if I fetch in response, then I just die. So it might have been blessing in disguise. Game three it is. Uh, let me see if I want to change the way I border. Attracts of being in this slot would be nice, but unfortunately that's not the case. Uh, da -da -da. I feel like we can cut maybe a dork play with another endurance but they attack on mana pretty aggressively that's a lot of three drops um yeah that's probably fine sure i don't love the hoop is in our hand but the six is otherwise pretty good and then i'm gonna go ahead and Thin first, uh, so we get a better look off the once upon a time potentially. Uh, that way we can get a dork. Ugh. I think we have to take the threat here. As much as I don't want to. Very rare will you see me not take Cradle, but I think this is one of the times. Because we already have, like, we're not going to not play a turn one play. And if we do that and take the land, then we're essentially flooded, right? Feels like they're just gonna kill whatever we play here, so I think I may just pass with the endurance up. Like I don't want to run out the artisan and they just kill it, right? That that just feels bad. Like the eight removal deck is probably just gonna wait and to kill my artisan. Which is why this matchup I think is harder than before, right? Whereas Glimpse they they can just, you know. 
chose not to shuffle. Um, right. Man, if they terminus here off of Ponder, I'm gonna be extremely mad. Actually, I should I messed up. I should have attacked with the endurance, see what they do. Not to mention the sequencing is wrong, right? Like, I lost a point of damage because I didn't play the high arc. We're just gonna go all in and see what happens. If they have the terminus, we're just price screwed. They have it. <sighs> I don't typically play around Terminus off Ponder because I, that's like low odds, but I mean, sometimes it happens. The irony of it is, um, I think that the mistake I made was, uh, Jesus Christ. I think the mistake I made was just not like, just like riding the endurance. But like, I feel like I don't have enough threats otherwise. Uh, I, I, I want them to use their first threat on... Uh, I want them to use their first threat on... Um, sorry, their first removal spell on my, my Endurance, but they did not. So I feel like I needed to play more to the board. Debatable what to do here. I feel like they probably have force, in which case it's going to suck. we are going to lose and they're going to be like oh the irony I think, I don't know, it's, it's hard. Like, this is the decision on turn two, right? Whether, like, I'm supposed to play Artisan or play the Endurance. Maybe I'm supposed to play the Artisan there and force the removal spell. Now I think I'm gonna lose. Did they play a single removal spell yet? How it's crazy if they kept the hand with no maybe we'll follow impact return. It's crazy if they kept the hand with no removal.
Actually, it's my mistake. Um, I should have learned from the previous game that they were aggressively killing my mana dorks. And they, in that case, that might have been a re... Like, it's kind of crazy, but I guess they could technically not have the removal spell. And maybe the read there was to slam the artist in turn two and then get the Grizz turn three. Now, ugh, it's going to be my worst fear. They're going to be at like one or two minutes left and have lethal at that point. Uh, we're dead. We can get Grizz, but it doesn't really matter. We're not going to be able to win because of that. Feels bad. Yeah, I think the re my read there was not good. Like, I, I probably should have deduced that they don't have removal uh, based on game two. And then slam the artisan there. I just, I just assumed they always have it, but maybe they just didn't. No, that's not, that one's on me. I think it was a follow uh, X Daniel, or not, I'm assuming uh, it's probably a play on the Nathaniel, but I could be wrong. Uh, I think so far I'm still leaning towards. Oops. I think I'm still leaning towards doing this change. This does not feel good. The rest is probably okay. The car rotation won a match. I don't know if it's good or not, but probably better than the engineer main. Engineer main does is like pretty good in the current meta. It's like not great against the two best decks though. Or at least high variance is probably the best I could say. Car rotation being a pseudo business spell, I think has more appeal um, in case we do flood, right? I think if I really want to beat um, some of these uh, control decks, I could play old school Besejo again. It's been a few years since I've done that. Um, I don't think we really need it. I'm, I'm not really concerned about the loss. Losing a Delver here, though, on the other hand, uh, is of concern. And I think we definitely want more lands. Like, it... We're not really punished for flooding. Like in a lot of the games where I flood, I end up in the end it ends up being okay. I think if I want to address the control matchup, um I think the layer helps already. I think What to call it? I think the lair helps. And I, oops, there we go. Alba four twelve. I think the second Gris helps. Ooh, I don't think I want this hand.
Oh, it looks like I'm playing against initiative. That's gonna be fun. No, we're playing. Oh my god, not this matchup. Oh my god, why? For a second, I was happy to play against initiative because I wanted the testing. This matchup is not what we want to test against. Winnable, but very hard. Especially since they're no longer that popular, right? Like, our deck's not built to beat them. Uh, this is a disaster. Technically winnable, if we can just draw another land next turn, technically winnable. Thank goodness they put that chalice away. I don't know why they would play this version because it, from what I understand, it lines up really poorly against white initiative. So you're playing the worser deck that l lines up poorly against the, the better deck, if that makes sense. It's kind of strange to me. The thing is that a lot of the lock pieces from what I understand, do not line up well in the stompy mirror is the problem. Now, you probably have game against other decks like ours, but given how popular initiative is, I'm not sure that's where you want to be. I, oh my god. Hmm. Maybe it's a Fury hard cap. Oh my gosh, sure. I think we're dead. I have not beaten this card out of like these red decks. This card is actually really good against us out of these red decks because they actually, they often have Blood Moon is the problem. So I'm like a little bit scared to fetch. Ugh. We're just dead. There's no reason to uh, reveal information. All right, uh, doo -doo. this is going to be rough, I think, because Snuff Out is like Feast or Famine in, in this kind of matchup. I don't know if we want it. Uh, Endurance is pretty good against their Fury Hands. Um, I don't think we want Crop. Actually, like, Snuff Out would have been, actually, they have Trinus here. It's probably not worth the, the, the risk. Like, I can see maybe two. It's better than the other stuff. Sure. Um, I think here, given that we have three land drops already, we can probably uh, thin before we want into uh, Nova Hierarch. If we only had two, I may not do that. Ooh, I think we take the Artisan. Well, the Reclaimer is pretty neat. Um, I'm not gonna lie. Let's do, let's do that. Just in case they kill our turn one dork. And we can go two one drops potentially on uh, later. Also, 
depending on how things shake out, we have a turn two progenitors. That could just be game, right? Like, it really depends what they do here. So they did do that. Somewhat relieved. Okay, that's really good. I don't think we want to uh, expose the fact that we have a cradle next turn. If they fury us here, that's something we just live with, right? Like, it's two for two. I think we get the extra damage in. Could matter. Unlikely, but could. I don't see I don't think we can lose this game, but you never know. We're gonna eight we're gonna tend them next turn and then tend them the following turn. I don't think they can win two turns. I think the real d debate is like how many snuff outs post board. I have to imagine imagine that it's better than crop and better than gris now that I think about it. Like I think the first gris is nice to tutor for and that's about it. I also want to like, draw here, so it's a little bit different too, right? Like, if they have turn one, I think, uh, Fable, I think we have to kill the Goblin. Got a high arc into Reclaimer, but it like loses hard to Fury. I think I'm gonna ball. This is better actually. Uh, the Endurance is good in this kind of matchup because it's good against Fury. Then we turn one Chalice. I'm glad I didn't keep that other hand. <laughs> That's actually kind of funny. Um, I think we just want to hit land drops. Uh, hard not to take the artisan though. Um,
But yeah, I think we want to hit ladder drops. The Shepherd coming in to clutch here, to be fair. Maybe the first one is worth it, after all. I don't know how often we're going to play against Moon Stomping, but it's like, it could be a thing. Although, to, to be fair, we drew it naturally, too. That's the other thing, right? Wow, that's an aggressive theory. I want to get Frog next turn to stabilize. Getting the bio also presents a threat of snuff out, so it slows down their clock. The left side of the dungeon I think is scarier for elves personally. But that's only if you can sustain it, obviously. We'll know a lot of other hand here based on how much they bottom. They bottom two, so it's not great. We're gonna take five here. Get progenitus, hopefully. If they have removal, we might just be screwed. We're gonna tend them next turn, and then we just have to stave off the uh, the aggression. I think our opponent punted by playing the Fury too early. So this is kind of an interesting point here. We can actually prevent them from getting the initiative with the double block of uh, Endurance plus Arbor, which is kind of neat. Like, I don't want them to get one deeper, so to speak, right, and potentially thrown us. This is actually a pretty sick line. To fully block the, the caves, right?
Alright, uh, one more, I guess. Hoping a track set will go down enough so that I can just pick her up again. I probably will regardless. Like I think she's an upgrade, a small one in our deck over, but still an upgrade over for Janice. I will say the Shepherd did win us that game there, but we also drew it naturally for what's worth. Also, our opponent probably misplayed, in my opinion. I think the Shepherd by itself there doesn't really do anything. Um, and you can wait a turn. The thing is, like, they can play one we can play one drops on our turn, and then the problem is. If you have Fury in hand, you don't care about a one drop, you just let it go and then just like fear it us next turn. So there's two caveats, I guess. This has actually been a pretty uh, informative stream. I don't really expect to beat Moonstompy uh, with our current configuration, but it's not. The thing is that that matchup is so polarized by certain cards that a lot of times it doesn't matter if your deck is like kind of suboptimal otherwise. So, for instance, Natural Order is like the probably the best card we can have against them. Thank you for the follow, uh, Kelvin. Hey, Kelvin. Yes, this is live. We're in our last match of the uh, the stream. Uh, we went three two in the first league. We lost to Reanimator and uh, I don't remember the other loss. Uh, this stream, we cut a land and we cut a. Um, what, I guess we cut a land and we moved this plague engine to a sideboard. Uh, I think I want that land. I, I don't think the Allosaurus Shepherd is worth it, personally. Even though it won us the, the match right now. Uh, I actually think it was one of our better matches, but then lately I've been losing to the show and tell uh, uh, playing out of the sideboard. Uh, I think it's probably overall fine, though. Uh, we do. We, I think the thing is that the the matchup is like highly defined by the density of hate you have. So if you just play a few extra cards, it just gets exponentially worse for them. Uh, I have to take a land. A little bit awkward because uh, suddenly the gris is not online. I'm just going to always leave with Lair now, like, the few times I, there is some benefit to not doing it, the, but the few times I have not done it, uh, I've just been bitten, right, like, top deck, the thing that, like, punishes that. Uh-oh.
See, we would have been punished, right? If we lay with the force there, we would have been punished. Uh, all right, I think the line here is we're gonna go turn two artisan, turn three. Uh, uh, just recently, I would say like a few days ago, or maybe two days ago, even. I'm gonna not give away the information that we don't have snuff out. I, I'm playing eight dorks. I know people are gonna think it's crazy, but I think the consistency is crazy insane. Maybe they jail or us here, I don't know. It certainly feels like with human being named. Okay, I can live with that. Kind of, maybe they saw it to us on the upkeep. Kind of surprised they did that. Instead of some other play. I guess the solitude is the instant speed still. Like it's still solitude the artisan. Um I I'm, oh, man. Not not having the uh Atraxa is hurting this matchup right now because Atraxa would be so much better than Progenitus here. <sighs> like we could drop four right now if we had a track for they could kill it obviously with solitude the problem is then they just have nothing left right I have. She's very good. I, I only sold it because there, there were like a million tickets online and I just cashed in the profit. In a few days, it's, I'm expecting it to go down even more and I'm just going to rebuy. May hurt us here on the stream, but I, I think she's very good, uh, even in elves or in our build. Like, we would have right now an Atraxa on board, draw four, maybe, and then they probably have removal for it. Uh, so, debatable whether this board say it would be good or not, but they'd be hellbent potentially, and we would, you know, draw into more gas. I think they're just trying to speed the dungeon now. So they go to trap here, maybe arena. I don't know. Hard to say. We're we're definitely going to kill the dungeoneer next turn. So oh, that's a lot of damage. Oops. Yeah, I don't love that, to be honest, uh, Kelvin, but, you know, it is what it is. I think we're just dead? What is going on here? I'm not even, to be fair, I'm not even sure Atraxa is like, well, they would have to play a removal, like, we probably just lost this game because Progen is not Atraxa, right? Like... Unfortunate.
That actually potentially helps. Actually, no, it doesn't. The thing is, like, what am I playing out my out to here? If I if I kill this, then they just fly over me, and I guess this three doesn't kill me. I can just kill the dungeon here. Right, we might have lost this game because Progenius is in the deck. Unfortunate. Yeah, because we have to tick down, unfortunately, and then now we're dead. <laughs> now the problem with activating lair is then we don't have another blocker right like they can just attack with both and we're just dead right i'm giving my opponent the benefit of the doubt that it can figure out the line uh the vendetta i think is good i think in this situation i have to now bring in uh well I guess I have to bring in now Plague Engineer because Shepard is pretty bad. Uh, we're down a card in this instance. I don't really love Plague Engineer against them, but uh, I mean, it's better than the other stuff. Uh, possible we win if this is the Atraxa, but like I said, It'll likely go down even more. So, you know, if it cost me five chests, it cost me five chests. I don't know. I don't remember if it cost me earlier tonight. Anybody remember if it did or not? I feel like it did not. But this might be the first time it, it will cost us. Actually, that's not true. Against the um, the control player, we didn't want to go for the uh, the progenitus there. So Atraxa would have been better there. So yeah, not quite true. It did cost us earlier, so might be time to pick up Atraxa again. Uh, otherwise, to be fair, progenitus was pretty good against DNT, which. Ooh, I think that is a mistake from our opponent. Um, I think we want, in case they Archon next turn, I think we might have to do it now. They got severely punished for be, for being greedy here, right? Like, you just kill the dork. I don't know why they did not. Now they're probably just Scrooge. Dungeoneer, I think. 
Enter. What is the line here? They can like, tr they're trying to forge me. Is that, that's their game plan? Wow, okay. So the line here now is like, I can like go for the progenitus. I'm not even sure that's like great. I'm gonna kill the ballista. All right, what am I doing here? I feel like Progen is just too good on this board not to go for it. Yeah, I, I'm not gonna mess around. Oh, sorry, Nathaniel. It's outdated. I'll update it next time. I haven't got a chance to update it. <laughs> I'll, I'll show it, actually. Um, you can see it during the... Uh, the I'm assuming we're going to win this game here, and then we're going to go to game three, and you can see the list. I feel like it's greedy there not to, like if they have solitude, suddenly your hand is so much worse. Like it, like you don't even get the initiative and you don't get the progenitus on board. Yeah, they're not beating this. All right, uh, here's the main list. Um, normally one endurance and one bog are main. The the shepherd would try for the second lead. I don't love, I love it. I'm probably gonna cut it to be honest. Um, and then we board in the Vendetta and the Plague Engineer, which I think I will play again main deck. Vendetta is pretty much just a fifth and sixth uh, snuff out, right? I would play eight snuff outs if I could. Um... Got a fast-ish clock. No natural order, but we can just draw into it potentially. I don't love having to keep this play engineering. That's the downside of the shepherd, right? Maybe they bring in chalice. I don't know. That's interesting. We're gonna play the hierarchy anyways, and then see what they do.
The Reclaimer here doesn't do anything against this deck. Probably not. Well, we have two Hierarchs already, so I'm, I think I'm going to take it. It's fine. I'm going to force them to kill it. Like, if they want to... If they want to spend two mana to kill a Hierarch and have a, a one left over, that's fine with me, I think. But, like, they, they suffer a tempo loss. Yeah, I think that's what they're trying to do. They're just gonna try to ride the Ballista. And then they lose a land too, which is like kinda iffy, I think. And they're gonna pump. Yeah, I don't think I actually care. Oh my god, that I care about though. Jesus Christ, I don't think we're beating that. I don't think I'd really be in a turn two jailer, like out of initiative. It's like one of the hardest starts to beat out of their hand. Ironically enough, one of the cards that we would potentially play is a Force of Vigor. We potentially could have stopped this scenario from happening. Uh, I don't think so. It's like slow in my opinion. They can kill that if they want. I don't think they care. We lose. Oh, we lost game one because of the thing. That's fine. This is gonna be funny. We have the, the play engine randomly could be relevant here. We have to phase solitude though, which is still asking a lot. Um. Please do not have it. Thank you. Wow, we maybe we're stealing this game. This play engineer is doing work suddenly. The other thing is, I have to keep the layer of the Hydra. I would probably cut that before. <laughs> I know, if we win this game. It's, this is very hard to beat, by the way. Like, turn two Jailer from the opponent is very, very hard to beat. Sure. If we can peel a Snuff out, that would just be the dream, right? can peel a snuff out, that would be the dream. If they attack, we auto block. Lose 
use that. That's fine. I don't really care. What do they have? Maybe that's like a mind sensor or something. I don't know. I'm trying to figure out what their line is here. That they would pass like this. I mean, we're going to blush. It's, it's a no-brainer. And trade. That's fine. I mean, we get the monarch for another turn still, right? So, uh, yeah. That is fine. So, question here is, what do we want to do? We can attack. Uh, I don't think that is correct. Like, I don't think they're going to take it out, right? Like, there's no way they're blocking. Or they shouldn't, at least. They could follow bear with two guns. Uh, we're playing definitely a fetch here. Uh, we could, although typically it's not fast enough this kind of matchup. I think we can fetch preemptively here. Can we draw a snuff out? We did not. You have Thresh for, I mean, normally it's not easy for what it's worth. I mean, in this matchup, typically it's hard to get to Threshold. Oh, that is not a good sign. Why did they do that? Oh, in case they draw Solitude, I guess? They better not. That would be a blowout. So, question here is... I don't think we're getting Lair. Yeah, I guess we get the cradle. If we attack with both, actually, we can attack with all three. Well, if they have a removal, one removal spell, then I think we should probably attack with all three. Snuff out one time. It would be. I feel like I kind of had to attack what. Oh my god. Cha ching. 
We did it. Goodbye. That's game. <laughs> Thank you, Kelvin. There's no... Yeah, that is game right there. Wow, that, so we had two chances to draw it, and we did. Yeah, and I cannot stress how hard it is to be a turn two jailer from our side. Like, it, that is one of their better draws, and we had to get lucky, and we drew the, the snuff out. That's why we play four, right? Um, one of the ways to beat that deck is to play removal, and I don't, it's not great, but, you know, more copies, albeit bad ones, of snuff out is still pretty good. Um, it didn't cost us not to play the Attractor, luckily. And I do think Attractor is an upgrade over Progenitus. If you get lucky, you can even hard cast it. That's probably asking a lot, to be honest. Um, there are certain scenarios where Progenitus is better, like, not gonna lie, but I think overall Attractor is better. I just didn't play it because, uh, you know, it's like pretty high right now. I sold my copy. Uh, what else do I want to say? I think the Shepherd is pretty bad. I think the engineer won the game. Like, they didn't foresee that we were going to engineer them there, and they had to essentially live because they had the the spellbinder, otherwise losing a human, right? If they kill our thing in response, well, they couldn't even do that. <clears throat> but I think I do not want this shepherd. I think we... I wouldn't mind slaughter pack. I've actually thought about it for what it's worth, so uh, beware. Uh, I definitely think our loss um, in round two to the Delver player, we definitely need to play enough lands. Like, I think we're not punished for fl uh, for flooding for the most part. And, oops. There's an argument to be made. M maybe we should play the Plague Engineer main, uh, which is what we did in the first league. The crop rotation was pretty nuts for what it's worth. Um... So maybe the sideboard engineer is fine. I, I felt like the force of vigor is like super bad, but you know, whatever. Uh, anybody have any thoughts or comments on the list? Uh, any rebuttal, I guess, on the Shepherd main? I did not like it for what it's worth. I think we just play all threats. They have to be all answered. So there's no need to protect our spells, so to speak. Um, the, it changes a little bit in the combo mirror because they can just force into no, I think... I, I had Deathmark before. I think... Shout out to Jax. I think Vendetta is a straight upgrade. Like, instant speed is huge in the matchup when they're trying to, you know, touch the Spirit Realm, combo you. Uh, also, like, this hits random things that Deathmark does not. Namely, like, the white decks. Sorry, not the white decks. The, um... Some of the other decks, I guess, uh... What is that one that comes to mind? Like, Cephalid Breakfast comes to mind. Like, you're hitting the, uh, the Illusionist and things like that. Instant Speed is huge. The Life Loss hardly matters. Uh, oh, actually, hitting Murktide Region, how can I forget, is the big thing, too. Uh, I think this is, like, roughly what I like. It's, like, close to what I played. The f it's some combination between the first and two leagues. Uh, the crop rotation felt pretty good for what it's worth. Just, like, extra speed, right? Um, and you can just crop into Lair. That's, like, a pretty nice play. Um, definitely think the man like the Delver matchup we did not hit land drops and I, I just think we just need to hit land drops and not lose that matchup uh, if I could I think the change I would make is play attracts the main uh, sideboard three ley lines I don't want to lose to reanimator by accident uh, let me see who's anybody have any recommendations for who I should raid 
a uh, couple three twos, but I, I think this league was pretty. Uh, this stream tonight was pretty. Um, what's it called? It was pretty informative. I think we learned a lot. So I guess I'll sh I'll raid uh, str uh, strategist seven if nobody has any. Uh, here are my socials again. If nobody has any uh, requests. All right, thank you everybody for tuning in. Here are my socials again if you want to check out my stuff. Uh, like I said, there's a new Patreon uh, article coming out or a cyborg map coming out tomorrow. So, you know, you be benefit immediately. All right, thank you everybody for tuning in.